Welcome, friends. Welcome, welcome to Blood Curdling Tales of Terror. I'm your host, Mr. Marcus Smith, and I have scoured the internet and the world for the creepiest, spookiest tales you could ever hear. Thank you so much for joining us today. And here's the great thing about these stories. You watch it at home, you have the ability to change and alter this story in ways none could have possibly imagined before. For the very meat price of $25, you, my friends, can create a ghost or a ghoul. For $50, you can gift some of our wonderful players a weapon. Could it be a positive weapon or a negative weapon? This is a horror story. It could be cursed. <laughs> For $75, you can create a custom horror room. A spooky room that's covered in blood or doll heads or any <laughs> such macabre thing. And for $100, you could split up the group. And as you know in any horror <laughs> stories, you should never split up the group unless you want to be very generous. Today, ladies and gentlemen, our story is called Betrayal at the House on the Hill. And we have a wonderful, wonderful cast of characters joining us today. And a special guest, Miss Clark Wolf, is joining us. Very exciting stuff. And on the cast as well, we have Emma Fife, Kate Elliott, Jesse Klein, and Scott Rudin. Ladies and gentlemen, let us begin the tale of the betrayal of the house on the hill. We open up on news. Yes, the news. Televisions going left and right, so on and so forth. Talking about the disappearance of one Mr. Todd Redford. Disappeared over a year ago on a skiing trip. Todd Redford, as you of course know, is an eccentric millionaire, a crazy man, some may say, or just a fun-loving playboy. He loves to drink, he loves to date beautiful women, and he loves to go out on the town. But he's been gone for over a year. What has happened to him? No one is quite sure. Stories are abound, but maybe we'll find out today. The news stories go off. As we move forward, we see a house up on a hill. It is a dark dirt dusty road the rain and the clouds have not quite started but there's an atmosphere in the air you can taste it on your lips from there we go into the house as we see a couple of cars driving up the long dirt road the only thing lighting the road is the headlights on those cars a young man by the name of percy the butler stands outside the front of the house waving down the cars and telling them when to park as our guests exit their vehicles, Percy escorts them into the living room. This living room is huge, vast. A couple of dead animals hang on the walls. A fire burns in the fireplace, ready for the storm to come. We cut in on Percy. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. As many of you have been invited here, some of you friends of one Mr. Todd Redford, some of you new faces entirely. Some of you may not know why you're here and I will walk you through it. But first, let us make, let us make the rounds. Uh, Miss Amelia Smith, hello. Hello, hello Percy, it's wonderful to meet you. I've heard a lot about this place, I'm very excited to be here. Oh, very excited as well. Amelia, please tell us what you do. Oh, um, well, I'm, I'm a conspiracy theorist enthusiast, along with my dad, whom I live with. Um, we moved from England, uh, because England's not very interesting for conspiracy theories. We have big cats and stuff, but that's normal, boring Earth stuff. Yes. But here, there's like Area 51 and the little-known Area 52. If you haven't heard about it, it's incredible. Um, anyway, my name's Amelia. My dad named me after Amelia Earhart, of course. You should hear his theory on it. It's incredible. Um, and I'm just so excited to be here. I'm a local radio AM host, uh, so I host my, my show, Amelia's Anomalies. And I'm just so excited to be here, because I've been talking about this place, something that's actually going on. So. Nice to meet you. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. I love the enthusiasm. Uh, over behind Amelia, we have friend of the family, Mr. Mark Deggert. Mark, many, many of you may know if you've seen any pictures of Mr. Redford. Mark, please make the rounds. Hey, um, <clears throat> Mark Deggert, uh, personal security, any type of thing you need to get done, I'll, I'll do it for you. Uh, I worked for a uh, Mr. Redford for a while. Percy, nice to see you again. Uh, Hello. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. I'm just asked to be here. Uh, nice As you to, all were. Yeah, nice to nice to be back. Uh, Fat and Nam took two in the shoulder. 
uh, just been working for the police, and when I quit that, I've been doing personal stuff. You know, there's an excellent conspiracy theory about the Vietnam War. No, I, I don't know about that. that. Mark. Mark, that's his name. Mark Deggert, personal Definitely. security for Mr. Redfoot. We'll go over that more shortly. Another personal friend of Mr. Redfoot, we have famous TV chef, some of you may recognize, Jane Clark Dixon. Jane, hello. Percy, oh, so lovely to see you again. Lovely to and see you. Mark, forgive me if I met you before. Were you here two years ago when I catered that party for Mr. Yeah. Redford? Yeah, I worked that party. Well, it's lovely to see you again then as well. Yeah. What a shame about Todd's disappearance. It's, <laughs> yeah, disappearance. So <laughs> mysterious <laughs> and <laughs> odd. Yes, we do miss Mr. Redford quite dearly. Hopefully the day will come when we will at least find a body, if not the man alive. Uh, but until that time, we must respect the man's wishes, thus why you're all here today. And now, two interesting figures, one who I don't think was aware he was coming here today until we brought him here. Uh, Teddy, please introduce yourself. Talk to the room. Uh, hi, hi, everybody. Um, I'm Theodore. Uh, friends call me Teddy. Uh, yes. Teddy Jones. Um, I um, I didn't know Todd. Um, I heard heard some stories about him growing up, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm growing tall. up. Why would you have heard stories about him growing up? Just because he's a crazy eccentric millionaire? Is there more to it? There than have that? been rumors circulating for years. My goodness, my community's been buzzing, and since his disappearance, none of those rumors are confirmed. I had no idea Todd was so famous. Oh, <laughs> stories of Todd get around, and uh, yeah, I mean. My mom told me all about him, and, and I'm, now I'm here to, to learn a little bit more about him and, and maybe what, what happened. Well, we should all see and find out. And of course, let us, let us not forget that uh, Mr. Redford was fairly eccentric in his ways and used to enjoy little puzzles and put things in newspaper ads, which brings us to Miss Velma Rogers. Hello, Velma. Hello. Um, if I look or like I feel sort of out of place, I do. I... I answered an ad in a classified, and that's why I'm here. <gasps> I don't know Todd, and I'm a dog walker. It's just me and my dog, Mr. Squeakers. Mm -hmm. And oh. what kind of ad were you answering? You don't mind me asking. Well, I mean, it's not really any of your business, but yeah. um, I, uh, well, you know, I mean, I'm all alone. I don't have any family. <laughs> Hashtag weapon you asked for this chat. Curse war machine personal armor suit. In Soviet Russia suit wears you. <laughs> no, I heard personal armor suit. I didn't hear any of that. Oh, we'll get to that momentarily. Thank you so much, everyone. Please continue. Oh, um, well, I was just saying that I don't have any family out here. It's just me and my dog, and so I was looking to pick up a little bit of extra work. Mm -hmm. He said he had some personal assistant work that he needed done, and so I figured, why not give it a shot? When exactly was this ad placed? Well, I don't know when it was placed, but I just saw it last week. Well, that's yeah, what brings your, your, us... your dog's not here tonight, is it? No, he's okay. at home. You know, terrible things happen to people that don't have any family. Well, that's what brings us all here tonight, you see. Mr. Redford, in accordance with his will, because we have to assume he's dead, it's been long enough, was to bring together a group of people, and that should they survive the night in this house, that they would therefore own the home. He, of course, picked personal friends, acquaintances, local celebrities, and in a Willy Wonka-like fashion, a complete stranger. Because <laughs> that is how Mr. Redford liked to work. The fact of the matter is, should any of you make it through the night, one of you will be the new owners of this house. And you can do with it what you will. Make it your own, tear it all down and make it a racquetball court, sell it, because it is worth quite a lot of money. You see, though we've had parties here, some of you may recall, we always tried to get everyone out before midnight. Because at midnight here, strange goings-on begin to happen. I knew it. Now this is an opportunity, should any of you wish to leave, to do so. But I will remind you, this is a very expensive property. And I believe all of you could use it. No? Uh, Headquarters, new radio station. Spread the truth. Very well. Then we shall all stay the night. It shall be quite wonderful. If you need me, simply call out Percy and I will come right away. I have drinks and food set up for you in the kitchen. Please, come this way. 
as you all start to go with Percy towards the kitchen, you start to notice the walls just grow a little bit darker as if the lights as you leave dim behind you, light after light after light. The kitchen has a long table, spread out are different dishes of food. You, the chef, mm. are very impressed. Mm. Well, it seems that whoever they've hired to cater this particular event for us seems to have quite impeccable taste. Velma, what do you think of this as the stranger? I think that this spread looks beautiful, but I still have a lot of questions as to why we're all here. And I don't necessarily know if I really trust this situation. Do you wish to leave? No. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna stay the night, and I'm gonna win. <laughs> I'm gonna drink my dinner, thank you very much. <laughs> Teddy, as, a young, as the youngest one here, how do you feel? What are you thinking? I, I'm just trying to take it all in. I, I don't know what half of these foods are, but um, oh, if it's darling, a lovely... best not to ask. Oh, Besides, but... it's all the rage to put everything in aspect these days. Gelatin has really revolutionized food, particularly <coughs> cocktail cuisine. Did you know that gelatin is made from Martian skin? I don't believe that that is true, but true. I will let you continue to believe that. Teddy, how old are you? I am 18 years old, sir. Do you have a vacation? Vocation? I, I go to school. All right. I'm in boarding school. Thank you. You notice at this long table there are five seats with your names placard on to take your seat. As you all do so, you notice there's also a seat for a sixth person at the end of the table. <laughs> but their dinner dish is covered by a metal bowl. <laughs> Great. The question is, do any of you decide to remove the bowl? Does curiosity get the best of you? Ugh. No, that's just bad manners. I'll take my place, thank you. Anyone else? Unfortunately, I'm British. I'm not rude. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a conspiracy going on underneath that. <laughs> no, actually, if you hold it over your head, it blocks signals from outer space, and the government tries to read them. In fact, you know, just in case, because this place is a little bit spooky, I think we should really just... I don't know if I oh, have enough for all of us, but... Gracious. It's appropriate. It's, it's timing. You well, know, we don't want them to you got, oh, thank you. you know, protect you your protect young brain. And, you I'll know, pass. Um, thank you. Okay. It's always good to double up, you know? Velma, it's, do you want to right. continue to try to persuade... Amelia to take the dish off. Well, I just find it odd that if she is such an inquisitive journalist that she wouldn't want to know what's under that bowl. I'm so flattered you just called me a journalist. You're right. Actually, I should go into the face of danger. I'm going to see what's under that lid, metal bowl. Okay. As you start to make your way to it, you start to hear the floorboards underneath you. <laughs> closer and closer you get. What do you do? I'm going to take my, my notebook and knock the lid off. Okay. <laughs> All you see is a name placard and it says Todd. <gasps> What's wrong? The name placard under this, it says Todd. Maybe well, he's not dead. It here? could be a mere coincidence. It's not like it's the most uncommon is name on the planet. Is it a coincidence that we're here together now? I mean, I might not have a fancy job, but I don't think it's much of a coincidence. We're in his house. His name is Todd. Clearly, yeah. he's doing something weird, don't you think? Mark, what do you think of all this as a security mm. guard? I mean, yeah, there's, it makes sense that there's a name platter for the guy that owns the house. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's true. He's been missing for over a year. Ah! Well, <laughs> Hashtag ghost this must be the former mansion of Classy Clander. He is long since dead, but he never left. Genuinely terrified. <laughs> well, it's very possible that there's someone in his employ who's playing a practical joke, putting his name on a platter, trying to make us all believe that there's some haunted conspiracy going on here. No, I think it goes deeper that than be. that. Much, much deeper. It does. Percy walks out from the shadows and takes a <gasps> seat at the table next to the empty dish. You see, there's a history to this house if you would all like to sit and hear it. Feel free to eat, though, by all means. There's no reason for the food to get cold. It could be poison. You see, Mr. Redford, being as eccentric as he was, bought this house because he had heard it was haunted. It used to belong to a man known as the Classy Candor. The what? The Classy Candor? The Classy Candor. We believe that 
Well, Amelia, that's why you were brought here. You see, Mr. Redford also was interested in the unknown, the paranormal, the different. And this house intrigued him. You see, people have often died in this house. The classic handler was a, well, shall we say a serial killer, bringing his victims here and killing them in the middle of the night. Due to the largeness of this house, he was able to hide quite a few bodies. In fact, they think there's some bodies still hidden in the walls. Like H.H. H. Holmes? Exactly like H.H. H. Holmes. Seems we have a history buff in the room. Oh, I've heard of him too. What have you heard? There was a man in, 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 in a long time ago. I believe who... you. <laughs> now, okay, this is, I, I tell you all this. Who is this Holmes character? He built, he hired a bunch of workers to build a house so he could build secret rooms in them so he could steal people off the streets and murder them. But then as the workers started disappearing because he wanted his house to be kept a secret, he was discovered by the police. But it's told that he is the first recorded known serial killer in, in, in history. Some people think that he's actually Jack the Ripper. You know about Jack the Ripper, right? You're oh, English. of course. Jack the Ripper. Um, he was a very interesting man. He's actually un still unknown, but a lot of people think he might have been a surgeon because a lot of prostitutes were found disemboweled on the streets of London. I think there was up to five or six victims, but there could have been actually a lot more. Did, did you say prostitutes? Yeah, yes. she said prostitutes. Sex workers. Oh. Don't ask more questions. That is the more politically correct term. Yes. I met a lot of those in Vietnam. <laughs> so... The classic hand is very similar to H.H. H. Holmes, you see. And he built this house here to get rid of the bodies. Eventually, going stark raving mad, he burned himself in the basement, hoping to burn down the house, but the house survived. Bad way to go. Yes. Seems like a well-constructed house, then. Well, the question is, is the house well-constructed, or did the house will itself to live? That's what brought Mr. Todd here, to buy the house. The problem is, we believe it probably drove him mad. You see, me as the butler, I was able to go home. I was not paid to stay here at the night. Uh, but I would come home in the morning, come back in the morning to find Mr. Redford raving mad. You know what he should have done? Hmm. Should have worn a tinfoil hat. Probably shouldn't have bought a spooky house. Both options are on the table, but <laughs> sadly he is missing, so... How, how, how long ago did... Did uh, Mr. Redford buy this house? Uh, five years. Five years to the day oh, that the classic candle burned himself. Mm. So anyway, let us enjoy dinner. <clears throat> so as you all eat, the lights outside, you start to hear thunder, lightning, dark clouds come in more and more. The spookiness is fully growing in this house. And you start to hear, could be the house settling, or could be distant moans. How settling. Mm. Todd, can you stop? I'm not Todd. Teddy. Yes? Could Definitely. you stop making that noise after I, we talked about it, sex work? Because it's very inappropriate. I, I promise it wasn't me. Oh. Percy, are we the only people here? Oh, that's a good question. Living. Living? Yeah, yeah, Do that's you know the, where the bodies are? That's what the qualifier of the question was. Yeah, are we the only living people here? Yes. Great. Yes, we are. Oh, are we the only living beings extraterrestrials counting to? Yes. Oh, okay. There, I doubt we'll be aliens. <laughs> Psh, they are everywhere. It's true. Well, the night is getting on, and so far everything seems to be all right. Well, perhaps we should retire to our rooms. I will say that if all... Five of you survive the night. Well, then the house gets sold and the money gets split five ways. Very good. Great. I'm, I'm okay with that. But let us retire to our rooms. What does your room look like? This is the fanciest room I've ever seen. There's a bed with a canopy hanging over it. I've never seen anything like it. There are these giant windows, but they're all blacked out. I can't see outside. Uh, there's an oil lamp in the corner, blazing brightly. Looks really nice. Uh, there's some weird mirrors. I'm not sure what's going on with those. Um, and a lot of uh, plush carpeting. Mark, you had a room when yeah. you would do events here. That's the room you go to. Yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah, it's got a bed and a closet. <laughs> uh -huh. And a, a trunk where I, w I would keep extra things 
and uh, that's about it. Uh, maybe, maybe there's like a couple oil lamps and an empty bookshelf. Hmm. Amelia, you open your door. I have a small room with a small walk-in closet. The unusual thing about it is there is a small window in the walk-in closet as well as my bedroom, but it's a fairly small area and I'm actually just going to set up the bed to make it look like I'm sleeping in the bed and I'm actually going to set up my sleeping bag in the walk-in closet and use my suitcase to prop the door closed so that aliens can't find me because everyone roll, roll knows for that. you can't open roll, you can do any of that. <laughs> <laughs> roll for weirdness. That's a four. Fifteen. Okay. <laughs> you... Immediately feel so tired, you just collapse on the bed, despite <laughs> wanting to do all of that. It just, it hits you. It hits you so hard. I'm going to be very disappointed in myself when I wake up. Jane. Taking risks. Yes. Having had a history with Todd, what yes. room do you go to? Well, naturally, I go to one of the rooms I've been in before, specifically... <laughs> Hashtag ghost is the season. Mark, do you see a werewolf outside? Uh, do I we see? Will get, we will get to that. Okay. <laughs> Keep <laughs> describing your room. Uh, specifically, uh, one of the ones that he used to impress young ladies. It's got very elaborate pattern shag carpeting and just mm. wallpaper that would have been considered very, very posh for the time. The bed is uh, sort of circular and it has uh, very, uh, like, plush bedding and there's definitely some questionable mirrors in the room as well and just wall to wall closets for the record i've had to clean that room <laughs> velma you open your door what is in your room my room is uh well there's a four poster bed and a classic uh comforter it looks like an old it looks like an old setup and an old classic uh, design, but for a house that hasn't been lived in for a really long time, it's impeccably kept. And I wonder what that's all about. Ooh. It's also cold in here. Hardwood floors. <coughs> Hashtag ghost the ghosts. I just heard ghosts. <laughs> and werewolves. And we will get to that. <laughs> But I definitely am keeping my eye on these paintings. Ooh. Because I think I've seen a movie or two. And I know I, I'm suspicious. This is a weird situation. I don't trust any of these people. I've said too much. <laughs> Outside of the distance, Mark, you hear. <laughs> you run to your window. What do you see? <laughs> what do you attempt to see? Uh, I guess I'm going to see a... Uh... What sort of wild animal made that noise? <laughs> uh, I look outside my window and uh, I must I must be having flashbacks because because uh, I see a an apparition a, a half man half wolf. Uh, uh, roll roll roll. Okay, I'll roll for it to see what I see. How much of it you see? Oh, I see I see what a three gets me. Oh. I got a one. Oh! So it's very clear. Oh! <laughs> and you can make out the hair in detail. Oh my god. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I freak out a little bit and I kind of like crawl back to my bed, kind of backing away. As you I make like... your way to your bed, you notice your sheets and pillow have been ripped apart and ripped <gasps> by claws <gasps> while your back was turned. Uh, I start I start talking to myself. I'm thinking, I think I'm going crazy because... Uh, because of what I saw back in the muck, and uh, and uh, I get out uh, a flask that I keep in I keep in my jacket, and I just start taking pulls from it. <laughs> Roll to see how much is in there. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> another three. Oh my gosh. Eighteen. That flask is empty. Oh! There's nothing in there. I'm also switching D20. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's a idea. Now, do you decide that the tears in the bed? Are you ignoring them, or uh, do you feel they are real? Uh, I think I, I think I think that it, either they are real or it is part of. I, I'm not sure, like, because I, I feel like maybe I'm having flashbacks. Let's go with you. Choose to ignore it then. You okay. Choose to kind of go like it's not real. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say it's not real, and instead of sleeping in my bed, I'm, uh, I'm gonna sleep in a chair in the corner. I'm just gonna sit in that. <laughs> <clears throat> do you have a blanket or no? 
Uh, no, I'm just gonna be right. in my jacket and <laughs> pants. I, uh, obviously in my room as well, there is a, a bar set up. So I would like to make myself a cocktail. Okay. And then I'm, I want to go to Mark's room. Oh. Okay, so you start making the cocktail. Mm -hmm. And as you do so, mm -hmm. unbeknownst to you, uh -oh. on the other side of one of those interestingly placed mirrors, <laughs> a hand starts being pressed against it. Unbeknownst to me. Unbeknownst to you. O okay, so I'm just gonna keep making my drink then. <laughs> yeah, as it pushes against the glass, it starts to spell something mm -hmm. out as you make your drink. Okay. Now you look up and you see the words, help me, written in glass. Help me? What? I want to uh, inspect the mirror and, and see like how this help me has been written. Okay, this mirror was uh, the one above the bed. <laughs> okay, well I guess I'll just... Property. <laughs> Many forks died to bring us this information. <laughs> We will get to that. <laughs> Put a lot of pins in a lot of things. Yep. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so I, I'm going to climb up on the bed. I probably need to like stack some of the floor pillows to make it like taller so yeah. I can read, so I can inspect the mirror. Perfect. Yep. So as you look and you start to see, help me, mm -hmm. the, the four corners of the mirror start to go <gasps> like as if they're closing it around you. Oh, roll, to, roll to see if you notice okay. that. Uh, 18. Ooh. You definitely know okay, this, great. this glass and folding in the corners. What do you do? I'm going to uh, uh, duck out of the way. So I'm gonna, I wanna like jump off this little like thing that I've made for myself and off the bed, but I wanna take one of the pillows and like throw it up into it to see if it gets like caught inside. Okay, roll for that. <laughs> uh, five. The pillow just hits up and then hits you in the face. <laughs> You smothered Damn yourself. It. <laughs> Drop the cocktail that I was clearly standing on no. the thing with. Just filled it on the bed. <laughs> Do you stay in the room or now you're gonna try and go to Mark? No, I want to I want to go to Mark's room. Okay. As you head off to Mark, mm -hmm. uh, Velma, we cut to your your room. You have heard these howls. And your room is next uh, to Jan's room. So you're starting to hear what sounds like possibly a pillow fight. <laughs> What do you assume? Do you want to go check this out? Do you want to stay in here? What do you think? I mean, if there's just a pillow fight going on and she knows some of these people, I don't know what they do in their spare time behind their closed doors. So <laughs> I have no intention of getting involved in this. All right. Uh, so are you in bed or are you sitting, reading? What are you doing? No, I'm sitting. I'm still a little on edge and I feel like the only way that I'm going to survive tonight is by staying awake. Ooh. And I have no problem doing that because... I'm a gal who has to fend for herself. All right. So I, uh, just me and Mr. Squeakers and, and you know, we're, so I feel like I can, I'm up for this challenge to stay awake and to stay alert. So in your alertness, you start to hear what sounds like shuffling about around you. Okay. As you look around, you notice those paintings you were very aware mm -hmm. of, all the figures in them are gone. Uh -oh. And there were a good chunk of paintings, and they're all gone. And underneath these paintings, it says McNickerson. <laughs> what? It's the McNickerson family. All right. <laughs> all of those figures are gone. Okay. All right. I don't know what that means. It's an inside joke. Don't okay. worry about it. <laughs> there, see, once again, I don't know any of this. I am the outsider. So what do you think about this? These paintings that did have people in them are now bare. I think that's messed up. <laughs> and uh, I think that that's not good. So I'm not going to stick around. I think it's time to exit this room. Where are you heading? I'm going to head into the living room. I'm going to okay. head out my door, down the hallway, down the stairs, in a well-lit living room. <laughs> Roll. Roll for it. <laughs> okay. So just a, any of the 20-sided dice. Mm, 10. <laughs> One, yes, 10. 10. 17. Oh. So, you open the door, but it is pitch black. Oh, no. And you've only walked through this house one time. Mm -hmm. So you might have to start hands on the wall your way to this living room, if the living room is, in fact, still lit, mm -hmm. which it might not be. Do you, do you stay in your room, or do you try to make your way into the darkness? 
I reach into my pocket of my flannel because mm -hmm. I'm just a regular girl. <laughs> you got it. Mm. And I pull out my Zippo lighter because it's this, this 1973 and I smoke cigarettes. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I mean, that's everyone what, everyone no one in the no, house minded right. if you had. Uh, no. So I open my Zippo lighter and I now have light. And so I cautiously walk down the hallway. Okay. Only with the light of my Zippo. Okay. As you step out your door, the door behind you slams shut. Uh oh. You turn around with your lighter, and it's now just a wall. <laughs> oh no. So now you have no choice but to make your way down that dark hallway. Yes, yes that's right. <laughs> so as you start to do so, Amelia, you have heard you heard you were asleep. You were passed on out. Did the wolf call wake you up? Yes. Okay, what did you do? I ran over to my suitcase, went into my toiletry bag, and I pulled out my silver necklace and my silver bracelet, and I put them on immediately. Okay. It's uh, important to have silver with you when you hear a howling. Oh my God. <laughs> Fair. Um, that. Roll for that. <laughs> roll for silver. That, is that, oh, a, so is that a 20? That's 20. It's a 20. <laughs> okay, you put it on. There's even a cross on one of them. It's, Great. Uh, and you Relevant put it on, to werewolves, but yeah. thank you, appreciate it. You, you put it on, uh, well, in case there's a vampire. Yeah. Uh, you put it on expertly. You don't even have to look, you just click right. It's like I've practiced this every day. It's like day. You, you know how to do this, perfect. Uh, people would be impressed if they saw you do it. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, do you stay in your room or do you make your way I out? I throw my most important supplies in my backpack. I grab my notebook. Which are? Uh, my most important supplies. I have a small flashlight. I have my notebook. I have a, a wooden, like a wooden stake. Mm -hmm. I have, um, I have my tinfoil hat, which I'm still wearing. It's very important. Um, and I have a, a small Polaroid camera. Ooh, okay. All right. Uh, you open your door. You start to make your way down the hallway. Where are you heading? I'm heading uh, towards where I heard the door slam. The door slam. Yeah. Okay, so you're heading towards Velma. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Great. Uh, Teddy. So. As soon as I'm alone in my room, uh, I start looking for valuables. And you turn into a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> uh, I start looking for any valuables that might be in the room, looking in drawers, under the bed. Okay, what are you looking for? Anything that might be small enough for me to take with me and sell at a later time. Okay, uh, so you're opening drawers. Um, roll. Maybe any forgotten jewelry roll. or... Seven. Okay, I got a four. Ooh. So you open the top drawer, and inside there's a wallet. Ooh. And as you open it up, you see po photos of Todd and a number of other people who you don't mm. immediately recognize. Okay. Are they all women? Most. <laughs> Different women? Yep. Yeah. The same woman, seven times. <laughs> He was in a committed relationship. Spoiler. Hashtag most creepy twin children. Creepy twin children. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> so you find the wallet. Do you keep it? Yes. But I get rid of all the, the pictures of Todd with, <clears throat> with other women. So you're just <clears throat> keeping a empty wallet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't Great. Want, I don't want those pictures. Great. Um, you hear the howl. <clears throat> you start hearing the rustling outside your room. What do you do? I'm going to go out in the hallway as well. I don't, if there's things going on, I want to see what see what's happening. I don't want to be in here alone. Okay, great. You make your way towards your door. You open your door. And standing there in front of you are two twins <laughs> who were definitely not at dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and they were two twins whose photos were in the wallet. Hi. Wait, like children? Hi. No. No, they're like adult are ladies. They're twins. adults. Hello, they say in unison. Oh, my God. Uh, hi, I, I'm, I'm Teddy. Who, who are you? <laughs> You're gonna die tonight. <laughs> uh, I attempt to jump back and slam the door. Okay, roll for it. Okay. And twins. <laughs> Eight. Fifteen. Oh. So you slam, okay. you, you, as you jump back, you slam the door and four pairs of hands grab onto it. <gasps> oh. And there's just enough room in the little crease not big enough for an adult, but big enough for children. Uh, As you see their hand shrink down in the child oh, size no. hands. Oh. What? And they start to slide into your room. Oh. Um, I, I have been keeping a pocket knife. 
in my, <laughs> in my pocket. It's okay. like one of my only possessions. Uh, I'm going to try to reach for it and try to open it real quickly and defend myself. Are you saying anything? Are you going to try to get the attention of anybody else who's in this house? Or are you trying to keep this? No, I'm, <laughs> this is just between me and these Between you and children. God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Great. Uh, roll for the knife. Come on, man. That's a five. 19. Oh, no! So like, you reach into your pocket, you pull yeah. the knife, and in your just startlement, you yeah. drop it. Oh. And it drops just far enough away from you that you either have to completely let go of the door as these two are as slipping. Um, door to close it. Um, I gotta get that knife. That's, you gotta get that well, knife? That's, that's one of my only possessions I have for my mother, so I gotta get that knife. Okay, as you <sighs> let go of the door and start heading for the knife, Thelma, in the hallway that you are in, you see a light, as if a door opened, and you see two twin, little twin girls in the brightness of this light. That's Teddy's room. Uh-oh. Do you head over to try and help, or are you going the opposite direction? Opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll for it. Okay. <laughs> I got an eight. Okay, I got a four. Oh, <laughs> so you see this and you're like, nope. <laughs> nope. And you hit your hit the lighter to turn it off because they'll see that for sure as you slowly start to make your way back into the darkness. Mm -hmm. Jane, you're trying to make your way over to Mark's room. Yes. Uh, and you see you see this light go out. So you know it's Thelma, but also at the end of the further down, you see the light of the two twins. What do you do? Oh, bloody hell. Uh, I'm going to go uh, investigate what's going on with those twins. Okay. Teddy, you let go of the door. You start making your way towards the knife. Dive and the it. Yeah, and the twins slowly oh, start geez. walking no. into the room. <laughs> <laughs> Jane, you pass Velma. Do you say anything to her when you see her? Goodness. Are you just going to ignore those two? Don't be a hero, lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, they're just a couple of children. How difficult can it be? You find out. I'm going that way. No, ma'am. <laughs> I always think it's best to confront whatever it is that is vexing you head on. Well, that's why I'm going to make it till the end of the night. And you are not. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's, Sorry, Jane. Velma. Mark's found his backup flask. <laughs> <laughs> Velma, as you're, say, as you're saying this, you, you turn around and you're about to go down that hallway and, and you see a, like 30 glowing eyeballs looking at you. Oh, no. That's the opposite end of the hallway. And in a voice that's all unison, hello, we are the McNickerson family. <laughs> Jesus. How is your night going? You sure you want to go that way? Nope, not anymore. I'm See? sticking with you. All right. Why are we going to check out these girls? Because, <laughs> as far as we do, we're the only people in this house. We need to ascertain whether they're real or not. Whether this crazy Amelia girl has any sort of uh, uh, proof to... And, and, there, and there's a young man so... in, the, in the room where the girls are trying to get into. <laughs> I don't know if that... Uh, any bearing on anything. This is a very bad idea. You guys start making your way towards yep. the room. Mark. Yeah. You saw a werewolf. You were like, I'm gonna ignore. I'm gonna do my best to ignore this. Yeah. You. Uh, you just start. You're hearing people running around the hallways. Yeah. As soon as I start hearing stuff, I'm gonna grab my heater, uh, and uh, make sure it's loaded, and uh, roll to see if it's loaded. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no. Seventeen. Three, it's way loaded. Okay. It's, uh, there's so many bullets. Wait. In fact, it's, it's too many bullets. It's so loaded, it doesn't work. <laughs> it's so loaded. Some bullets fell out because it was too loaded. And you put those in your pocket. You have extra bullets. Oh, right. Wow. <laughs> that's, how, that's how guns work. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. how guns work. In the 70s. Uh, that's how guns work. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my flashlight and I'm going to head out into the hallway. All right. Uh, right as you open the door, Amelia, you run up to the door. I just run into him. Run right into Mark. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Ah. What's going on? 
I have no idea. I'm hearing people running around in the hallways. Did you hear that howl too? Yeah, I heard that cat. You heard that howl? I heard it. What was it? Uh, Is it exactly what it was? It a lycanthrope? Uh, no, it was a werewolf. <laughs> okay, good enough. <laughs> okay. We, uh, what's? Can we see the door? Uh, no, their door? No, you can't. Oh, we're in you're a different the, section. Yeah, you're in a different area. Where's everybody else? Uh, they're probably in the master bedrooms, down the hall and up. Why are they all in the master bedrooms? Is this another orgy? I knew orgies were going on at this mansion. That, you're not wrong about that, oh lady, but, uh, I don't think it's, I don't think it's an orgy. Correct again. My God. Well, we should find the others in case that, that werewolf finds us. Okay, yeah, okay, great. let's go. Uh, I know, I know this house pretty well, so I'd know where oh, their the rooms way, are. You lead the you go in front. Uh, um, Amelia, you notice his gun. Do you want to say anything about it? No, I just see it, and I take note. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you guys start to make your way down the hallway, uh, Amelia and Mark, where you think uh, the others might be. Uh, <laughs> the good twin girls yes. are getting closer and closer, reaching their hands out to you, Teddy. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to dive for that knife. I got to get it. You're going to dive? I'm going to dive for it. Roll. <laughs> A little giggle. Oh. Uh oh. What'd you get? A five. <laughs> switching you, out. I'm officially switching out dice. <laughs> your, your dive is literally you get uh, one foot. And <laughs> it's a real wimpo face. dive <laughs> as you hit your face onto the wood, <laughs> and you oh. start and you start to feel these little these twin girls are getting closer and closer to wrapping their arms around oh, your Jesus. legs. What, what do you want? What do you want from me? For you to die. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. We want more friends. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, Velma and Jane, you are yes. at the entrance of the door. You turn and you see these two twin girls. Is there any uh, like paintings or anything in the in the hallway, like on, on the walls? Uh, on the walls, there are some paintings, but there's no one in them. These are some of the empty. That's okay. Notes. I'm just gonna grab the painting off the wall <laughs> and I'm gonna smash the twins that are trying to murder him, one of them, like just that. like over the head. All right, Velma, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna watch her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jade, roll for it. Uh, three. No, Jane. All right, I got an 11. Oh, she got hit with the frame, not the soft part. So you, you grab the painting. Right. So, but it's the back side of the painting instead of the front side. Oops. So when you bring it down, the ghosts just go right through it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, turns out that these don't have a choral form. Definitely, definitely ghosts. And then they both turn and now and look at you oh, and shit. go, more friends. Oh, God. <laughs> No. <laughs> gonna, wait, I'm not gonna let Jane get captured by these evil little hellion beasts. Sure. I've gotta save her because she is an extra person with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. So um, as you start to make your way towards her, you notice there's a there would, appears to be a trap door uh, on the floor of this room. Now you could. Go for the trap door, there might be something in there. Or you could currently try and help Jane. Because if you don't go for the trap door now, someone else might find it and get what's in there. What do you want to do? Well, even though I'm a lady who's in it for herself, <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like having backup in this situation considering I just saw 30 eyeballs <laughs> and hands and paintings that are disappearing and ghosts that are trying to kill well, this guy with his knife. Poor Teddy. Poor Teddy. Poor Teddy. Oh, no. There is a hashtag room of dismantled mannequins to be used at GM's discretion plot wise. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go for Jane. I'm not going to go for the trap door. Okay, what are you going to try to do? I'm going to grab her and yank her out of the twins' grasp, and then we're going down in that trap door. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, roll for it. Okay. Screw you, Teddy. <laughs> Bye, Teddy. I got a 10. I got a 1. Yeah! So, uh, you, you grab, it's the swiftest, coolest, John Wickiest <laughs> thing. <laughs> yep. One hand grab, one hand open the trap door. Yes. Woo! Oh, Woo! Right. Slam the door. Bye. Teddy, you're, you saw you had help. <laughs> they have <laughs> left. No. We tried, Teddy. We no. tried. Yeah, that at that Game moment, tried. right at that moment. <laughs> Mark and Amelia make their way into the room. You turn and you see the two twin girls. Oh, Mark, what are you gonna do? Uh, help! Like, help! 
Holy crap, what are these girls doing here? <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to kill me. Hey, hey, uh, honey? Honey, are you lost? Oh my god. Are either of you lost? I got a little girl. They turn and look at you. Yeah. And they say, you've seen things. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, I have. Do you want to go back there? No. Why, why would you say that? I don't want to go back. I saw children kill children. I don't want to see oh, that again. Oh, really? They turn, the two twins turn on each other. Oh, no. And graphically, oh, God. that only Mark can see, start ripping each other apart. Uh, I, I start crying. Like, <laughs> I start, like, just, I'm a strong man, but I, I can't see that again. <laughs> Amelia, all you see is the two twin girls standing there. You don't see the ripping apart, but Mark... Flash picture of them. Okay, roll for it. This one feels good. 11. 13. No! So, you take your photo. The light goes off with the flash. When that happens, they disappear. But only momentarily. It seems like bright light has an effect. But it's only momentarily at this point. Does that... Can I respond to that? Yeah. So I see that they disappear when the light comes on. Yeah. So I put the Polaroid, it's still, the print, picture's printing out, put it down on the floor. But it's gotta be a bright light, not just like a room light. I pull out my flashlight. Okay. And I shine it right at them. Uh, roll for that. Okay. Hmm, which is the flashlight that I put on? <laughs> 10. I got a 20. For goodness oh! sake! Oh! So, you turn the light on, GM and as you hit them, On and off. No. You might knew not I should have got Duracell. You might not have put new batteries in. No. no. Oh, no. oh, no. Teddy, what are you doing during all this? I, I, now, have I seen them turn away from me? You've noticed that their eyes are now on Amelia and Mark, but you have okay. not seen the ripping apart. Sure, sure, sure. Um, you saw the flashlight, and you saw that was having an effect. Okay. Um, I'm going <laughs> to frantically look around for anything else. Hashtag ghost. Demon teddy bear. Use a GM discretion. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, maybe maybe I see the light and I go for the lamp to try to ward them off with the lamp. I, I know it's not much light, but maybe maybe that could maybe be something. something. Um, roll for it. Okay. Sixteen. Two. Okay. So you run over, you grab the lamp. Yes. And as you do so, the lamp is near the window, and you start noticing there's very bright lightning. Oh. Happening right outside the room. Do you want to keep grabbing the lamp? No, I want to tear down the curtains. Okay, roll for that. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Two. Oh. I also got a two. So oh! I roll again. Okay. Push. <laughs> twenty. <laughs> I'm not even playing. I legit got a twenty as well. <laughs> Tell you what, GM's discretion, you you win this okay. one. Oh but I'll they'll come back for you later. So don't be <laughs> you tear the Just curtain tear down, down as lightning hits, and it, the two the two go girl 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 yes. they scream as their bodies just dissipate. The lightning is so bright that their bodies just dissipate. Uh, I'm gonna grab my knife. <laughs> I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go to where the girls were. I'm gonna be like, where did they go? Where did they goddamn go? Amelia, what do you do? You're hearing all this. I'm looking to look at uh, the light. The lightning's lighting everything up, right? Yeah. I want to look down at the Polaroid that's now processed. What is it? What do I see? Uh, you see. Hmm. Actually, roll. Cool. Oh. It's a ten. Really, really mediocre today. <laughs> Um, you see yourself. Ooh. In the Polaroid? Yeah. What do I look like? How far away am I? Sorry. Oh, you're dead. You see yourself oh. dead. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you see yourself dead. Uh, How, shit. Sorry, am I covered in blood or something? Oh no, you've been long gone. It's oh, I'm like, oh. serious. Like, this coat on a skeleton or something. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That you're pocket. purple. It Put is not. Right it, back in my yeah, and it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't a peaceful death. Actually. I want to do one more thing. Okay. I'm going to take the batteries out of the Polaroid camera and swap them with the batteries in the torch. Because it doesn't matter if the Polaroid doesn't always go off, but the torch is important. Okay, roll for that. That's a four. So, as you open the batteries, 
they start to, they you drop them. And they start to roll, but they hit the lid of the trap door. Mm. Oh. So at this point, Thelma and Jane, you've heard that it sounds like those two ghosts are gone. Mm-hmm. In this trap door is a room that's really probably no bigger than a closet. Okay. But there is a box in the corner, something like a, a, a chest, if you will. Uh, do either of you want to go for it, or do you want to go drag it out of there? I'll go Thelma first. Yeah, I'm opening it. All right. Uh, you open the box, and inside... Thank you, chat. Is oh, an, I haunted Iron Man suit. <laughs> a haunted Iron Man suit? <laughs> yes! <laughs> now, depending on the roles, because Uh-oh. it is haunted, oh, my that can work goodness. in the positive or the negative. <laughs> okay. uh, Jane, do you roll to see if you, if you also okay. see the suit? All right. 16. Uh, you definitely see the suit. Mm-hmm. What on earth? I think that's an Iron Man suit. <laughs> Iron Man. Don't worry about it. Is that it's very cool. Okay. It's, it don't we like this. Okay. Well, what's it doing here? It seems that Redford was getting into some very odd business indeed, unless this has been here since before he bought the house. Well, what does it do? Uh, it gives you powers and super strength, and you right. can fly. Why? Yes. Oh. So this Todd person, Redford, must yes. have been an eccentric millionaire, yes, yes, but also a scientific genius. Right, and a playboy philanthropist. Well, obviously, with a kind of drinking problem, but it's charming at first. It's very true. Don't, don't forget womanizing. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, that goes without saying. Well, hey, how'd you get here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the top door has been open. Teddy has heard all of this. Don't forget womanizing. <laughs> You guys were so enamored by the Iron Man suit, you didn't even notice the light streaming yeah. <laughs> of the trap door being opened. Um, so you two come out of the hole. Uh, Velma, right. you now have an Iron Man suit. Yep. And we will determine the point value on those hits. Uh, wow. When we get to oh, boy. It. oh boy. Yikes. Um, so now the five of you are back together. You're in this room. These two little girls are gone. Um, what happened to the children? They, they appear to have disappeared with the light. How odd. They just tore each other apart. They They tore each other apart? Yeah. Did anyone see see anything else unusual apart from that one thing that Mama left the vessel? Oh, I saw a wolf man. I heard, I heard I In in my room that I saw in the mirror, someone wrote, help me. And then it started to like collapse in on the room. The Uh. mirror? Yes. My goodness. It could have been a trick of the light. It's a mirror after all. Or alien technology. Or oh, that. Should, do you think we should smash all the mirrors? That's, that's bad luck. terribly bad luck. You don't want to do that. And there's a lot have... of mirrors in this house. Mm-hmm. Mark, uh, you notice the little trap door, the little room. Yeah. You know that these have been in this house, but you've never gone into any of them because <clears throat> you have claustrophobia. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Great. <laughs> do you decide to mention this to the group or do you want to hold on to that? Uh, I mean, I'll... <laughs> I will say like, hey, uh, in the future, I'm not gonna go into those tiny little death traps. <laughs> well, no. they might be the only thing that'll save your life. They yeah. remind you too much of the foxholes in Vietnam. Yeah. Mark, I, uh, do you think this could be one of those hidden death rooms we were talking about earlier? Yeah, yeah, it probably is a hidden death room. Oh, goodness. Let me look at that while I put these batteries Seem back to have in the Polaroid camera. <laughs> Dead bodies in it. Rooms? Suddenly you hear, ah! No! No! Please! One, ah! two, Silence. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's only Percy here. That must have been Percy. Well, we've already seen that it seems that there's more than just us in this house. Whether or not they're alive or simply apparitions remains to be seen. And I think they could cause a real threat. Look at this Polaroid. I tried to take it up the hallway just now, but it's me. It's my coat. Do I see her in the Polaroid? Um, what you see, you know, roll for it. Okay. Mm. Uh, 13. 19. Yeah, that's, oh, that's a like 19? 19. Oh, maybe it is a 19. Oh, no, you know what? It's, it's a, a fancy 13. three. It's oh, a 13. It's a really fancy three. It's a 19, too. <laughs> it's a real fancy three. <laughs> um, so yeah, fancy. You, you, you three see, times a tell. <laughs> you see her, in the, you see uh, it's Amelia in the polar right, and she's dead. Something paranormal is going on here. I thought it could have been the government, but this is something else. I don't think they're even this smart. You know, the, the longer this night goes, the more sane she's talking. Do you guys want to go investigate it, that right. screen? 
Well, I don't know if it's wise to go throwing yourself into the face of danger, though. Look, all we're supposed to do is survive tonight. That's all we have to do, That's and true. then we get to sell the house and split this cash. So I say we don't investigate anything scary. We just stick together and stay right here. That don't sit right with me. Percy's a good guy. He's, he's helped me out when I've needed help. Janie's helped you out when you've needed help, too. We can't just leave but him. But how, how do we know it's Percy? Okay, I'm gonna have Thelma and Mark roll off oh. against each other to decide if you stay or go. Okay. I got a 10. I got a six. All right. <laughs> Mark sounds very persuasive, everybody. I mean, you don't want to die, but it's Percy true. was giving you a lot of information. He was yes. Very helpful. And you know, the more some of you know Percy. The best chance we have of surviving. And Percy might also be our best chance of survival as he's the one who, aside from Mark, is most familiar with the house. Yes. He's the one we want to ask questions. Yeah, but, but I mean, we still don't know if that was even Percy. It's true. Who else would it be? There were six of us here. Can I, One, two, three, four, five. can I run a perception check to see if I recognize the scream? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, for, can can I you, run a scream check? A <laughs> scream check? We, we believe you anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, it was a six. <laughs> You're fairly sure. <laughs> <laughs> But you're not 100%. All right. You're also but you do seeing have... werewolves. True. You are That's seeing a werewolf, but you do have a loaded gun. Yeah. Look, I, I, I know minutes ago I sounded very persuasive, but now I'm not sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Percy. <laughs> it's me. It's Percy. <laughs> oh, it's Percy. Guys, it's Percy. Uh, he just said it's me. It's Percy. No way a ghost would be that clever. Uh, sure. We have to weigh the options here. On the one hand, we could be going to save this man who could help us in the long run. On the other hand, we could be running towards certain danger. He's screaming. Something bad's happening. I mean, what do we? Does, do any of us have a weapon? Something we can, we, we can use? I have a lighter. Perhaps if they wish to divulge that they have a weapon I have, on their person. I have my heater and I, I've got a pair of brass knuckles. Wonderful, he Sounds has like prepared. You should go in the front. Yeah, Just fine. remember, if there are Martians, they move very quickly, so strike fast. I always do. Okay. Is this like a, the, the bed that's in this room? I can't remember. Is it a four-poster bed? Well, it, this is Teddy's room. Right. So this is fairly basic. Okay. This is a fairly basic room. It looked nice to me, but I, I don't know. Right. He's Absolutely. just a college kid. Absolutely. And you notice, uh, as, as you guys start, are, are attempting to leave the room, the photos that uh, Teddy took out of the wallet and threw right. to the, the side are on the ground. Uh, Jane, I'm gonna have you see them. Okay, I do see them. You do see them. Okay. Do any of those look familiar to you? Um, I mean, Todd's and all of them, correct? But any of the women? <coughs> any of the women? Yeah. Familiar to me? Of course. <laughs> I mean, very familiar. It's like I'm looking at my own face. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you decide to share with the group that there's a photo of you, or do you kind of? Oh uh, no, I just pocket that. I just pocket that. <laughs> pocket yeah. that, and then throw the rest on the ground. Yes, of course. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Naturally. Uh, Velma, I'm gonna have it that you notice she pockets something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you want to point that out to the group now, or do you want to hold on to that for later? I'll hang on to that. For right. later. So you guys step out, and you notice down the hallway that some lights start turn that some lights are turning off and on, in a manner almost as if to lead you down. All right. So there's a hall that splits into three corridors, and two of the lights go off, and one is a straight shot, and the lights stay on in there. You know, I don't mean to spread fear and panic amongst the group, but it does appear that the electricity or something controlling the electricity is guiding us down this pathway. Well, we've already committed to throwing ourselves into almost certain danger, so I say we forge ahead. I don't know if that's such a good idea, just walking down the track that's been laid for us. Probably not. <laughs> at, least, at least there's light. Remember Percy? You guys wanted to go <laughs> save Percy! Yeah. Now we have to go! Does it, does it sound like Percy's coming from that middle way? Yes. All right. Stick together. Mr. I don't, Mr. Best Mr. Daggart, thing we can sir, do. I'll, I'll follow you. I don't, I don't like getting led around by my nose, but I'll, I'll keep going through if I have to. You yes, know, if I'm yes. gonna get my ticket punched. It might as well be trying to help Percy. 
You start making your way down this lit hallway, the screams growing louder and louder and louder, when finally you get to the door where the screams are coming from. Mm. It's up to you. Do you kick the door down? Do you open it carefully? Uh, I will throw it over to Mark, since he's the former cop. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick right at the doorknob. <laughs> All Just right. knock it open. <laughs> Roll for it? Yeah. Come on. Oh, oh 19. Oh, you, that fucker smashes open. <laughs> Just wood, wood literally splinters <clears throat> out. Uh, Whoa, you, Mark, that was very impressive. All people see is a halo of sawdust around. <laughs> 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 that door was practically made of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> see why Mr. Redford kept you in his employment. Yeah, uh, your gun is pulled and you walk in. I have very advantage quickly. versus doors. Uh, does everyone follow him or do... Uh, I, 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 I follow him yeah. in holding onto his yes. coat trail. You'd be very useful on Doomsday. Yes, and I would like to... Is there a, a like a shattered piece of door that would be usable as a weapon? Very a good thinking. There's a pretty <laughs> good knifey looking yeah. chunk. Excellent, I will grab that. <laughs> well, I'll roll for it. <laughs> oh. Hey. Uh, 13. 8. Okay, yeah, you're good. You, you, Excellent. You, you, it's, it's, it's big enough... Um, that you're able to kind of like put it away without sure. it do, doing any bother or harm. Of course. And I know my way around a knife. Mm -hmm. Being a famous television chef. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Teddy, what about you? Um, I, I have my pocket knife, but I'm sort of keeping it, keeping it close. But I'm going to go in. You go in pretty yeah. good. Uh, Thelma. Yes, I'm going in. Okay. As you go in, this room is drenched in blood. Oh, God. There is no one in here. And it is just covered like it is a oh. massacre gore oh. scene. Oh, Percy. And written. The that name. He's owned the house before Redford. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull out my Polaroid camera and take a picture of all the bloody stuff and then the, the note. Photo comes out. <laughs> Real time. You know, you should never shake a Polaroid. It does actually nothing for the development. You can just hold it. Is, is, right. there, is there anything else in the room? Um. What kind of room is it? Uh, it's a very simple ser uh, uh, servant's quarters. Uh, so it's another bedroom. Yes, yeah, another bedroom. Okay. Very, uh, very simple, very basic. Not bad, though. Uh, right. Very uh, clearly uh, kept, uh, ignoring all the blood, uh, kept up pretty well. Sure. Um, <laughs> in the closet, there hangs a couple of different black uh, uh -huh. suit jackets and suit ties. And there's no bodies or anything. It's just covered in blood. Covered in blood. No bodies. That you can see. Are there, are there windows? Um, no, no. I'm, there's no windows. I'm gonna tell you, blood than in a human. Yeah. This is this is an extra amount of blood. Like like um, two bodies. Amelia, you took a photo. What do you want to see in it? Just evidence. I'm collecting evidence to prove that I'm not crazy. That stuff is going on. Okay, roll. No, that's not the right one. Mm, 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 mm. 14. Um, the photo comes out, it, it, but for whatever reason, it's in black and white. So it just, it, clearly, all the blood is there. Everything is there, what you see. But it's in black and white. It, the, the liquid's not exactly clear of what it is. It could be argued, anyone could argue with it, it's just water. There has to be some sort of radio wave interference or perhaps electrical, something is interfering. The government has to be in on this. I mean, this is too big to just be paranormal now. Put it in my pocket. As you guys start to look around the room, you hear a... Uh, as one of those trap doors in the oh. room peeks up just a bit. Just enough. Absolutely not. All right. And I'll note, it's two o'clock in the morning. Yes. Oh. So we have six hours to go? Or is Til it dawn? sunrise, so sunrise. before. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So you have the decision... To just stay here. But as we saw with the twin girls, anything can come into these rooms at any point. Yeah. That's true. Or continue on. I don't think we should stay in the bloody room no. where the trap doors are open. I think we should definitely find some better lit, more open ground we can defend ourselves from all sides. I don't know about open ground. Perhaps we should have our back to a wall, but I do like leaving this room because if this is some sort of feeding room or ritual room, whatever caused this mess, we'll be back. We should leave as soon as possible. But Mr. Dagger, do you know of any any place nearby that I might mean, be good for there's a, ourselves? There's a sitting room that's nearby. Uh, also, uh, Todd had a, uh, a room that has a lot of uh, poles in it uh, for dancing. <laughs> 
Uh, that's that's pretty wide open floor plan. Uh, just a couple of couches. Don't sit on them. And uh, you know we've got the kitchen. Uh, Jane would be mo- most uh, comfortable there. That might be a good home space for us. Kitchen might be able to find weaponry. Place. Also, yes. a lot of weapons. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. So, of the three options, kitchen, the stripper room. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dance hall. <laughs> You know, I heard rumors that it was in the south of the house, so we called it the South Pole. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That is correct. Oh, I knew it. I'm always right. Or the more living room-like area. Um, of the three, where's the preference? It sounds like it's the kitchen. I've kitchen. Kitchen. Yeah. kitchen sounds... Uh, yeah, Jane would know that place the best. Yes. Right then. Okay, uh, so you go back to the door. As you open the door... The door that I destroyed? Right, the door's gone. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I find the doorknob on the ground. And I... <laughs> Old habits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you just walk on through right. you know, this shat- what was once a shattered door area. Uh, Is there like a secret passageway that would take us to the kitchen faster so we don't have to navigate all the hallways? I mean, that trap door could lead to somewhere. It might not be the kitchen. Or it might be. <laughs> no. A kitchen underneath our this room? Listen. The servants' quarters? If this, isn't, make any if sense. this is an old murder house, which <laughs> apparently it is, you never know what you might find. Lots of secret things are hidden under uh, things. Did you know that there is a secret government base under the Denver airport? I don't think that's true. No. It's very so true. Up to eight buildings. Okay. Do, I will have Thelma and Jane roll again to decide nice. okay. who go, if we go through the house okay. or through the trap door. Which oh, no. right. one's which? You're voting to go through the house because you don't trust that I'm there's a kitchen underneath that trap, the trap door. Oh no, Jane. which is not exactly what I said. Oh, now you vote well. Well. <laughs> We're going through the trap door, apparently. All right. Ma'am, can, can you shine your flashlight? Okay. Oh, absolutely. The, I'm not going to go down there when it's dark. Right, I'm going to use my, my wood plank to sort of pry the trap door open while she tries to shine use the torch to shine it inside. And the... does Mark get ready to shoot? <laughs> Mark, do you? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mark, Mark is looking at his oh. empty flask. Oh, yeah, he's just so <laughs> sad. <laughs> uh, Mr. Dagger, you don't, you don't have any spare mm-hmm. uh, weapons, do you? Uh, mm-hmm. I got brass knuckles, kid. You think you can punch someone? <laughs> I mean, I'll take a pair of those. Yeah, okay, I'll give them to this crazy broad. Wonderful, thank you. <laughs> okay, that's, that's awesome. So the trap, door, the trap door opens and this gust of just awful smelling air just mm. wafts into the room. Uh. But the decision was made. That's where you're going. Uh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have all five of you roll to decide the order. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, gosh. Seven. Seven. Three. Eleven. Two. So the order goes... <laughs> <laughs> so Mark done pointed down just Geronimo's into this oh, hall, God. ready to go. Is it a is it a closed quarters area? Um, how do you mean? Like as far as like how much width? Yeah, I need. I'm, I'm claustrophobic. I need to know how. Uh... There's there's like uh, j- just enough for your body. So you are yeah you're uh, you you're going okay. first. You want to be brave. You're the yeah. soldier. But you internally, you're you're freaking out. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll take a minus one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A minus. One. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, so the order goes: uh, Mark, Thelma, uh, Jane, and Amelia hug each other. <laughs> Since it's tied. Yeah, that's fair. Because this could be it, and human contact. If you're gonna go, uh, and finally, Teddy, you're last. Okay. But you take a moment. You look around the room. What are you thinking? What are you seeing? Teddy, grab a line. Uh, I mean, at this point, I'm just, I'm just looking for any evidence of Todd in his life, and just looking for some goodness that might have been there. Oh, God. There is none in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Covered in blood. There is no goodness yeah. in this room. <laughs> you just let out a sigh, yeah, and you jump down the hole. Mm-hmm. Much like the Goonies, this oh, just God. turns into a slide <laughs> that oh. zigs and zags around. Finally, landing in the library, which Jane, you know, is pretty close to the kitchen. Sure. Maybe a couple rooms down. All right. This isn't so bad. So, Mark, but you landed first. So, Mark, what are you doing? Uh, 
<laughs> I'm gonna. Is there like a couch or a, a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, a yeah. chair? It's a, it's a study. This is clearly like a study library area where there there was definitely this was not just for show. There was definitely some yeah. reading that happened here. I'm gonna push the I'm gonna push the couch <laughs> to the landing area be, so that people don't fall on the ground like uh, I did. Roll. <laughs> oh, no. uh, seven minus. Oh no, this is a library. I'm, I got I'm back to full seven. Uh, I got one. All right. <laughs> so much like the door, that couch just with ease. <laughs> <laughs> and we all just land and on it. And everyone lands on it. on it, but in perfect, like, cartoon boop. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Simpsons. Oh, perfect thing. <clears throat> Although it actually is like boom, boom, boom. And then because Teddy took a little. <laughs> Tell anybody, do you want to. All right. The good news is we're not far off from the kitchen. It's just down the east corridor. So I guess that we should head out into the hallway. Amelia, as a conspiracy theorist, you notice within all these doors, there is, oh, with all, with all, sorry, with all these books, there is one book that looks particular. It looks odd, more brightly colored than any other book. I'm going to walk up to it and go, Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for my crowning glory, my shining moment? What, what is she doing? Oh I don't know. I don't now, know. does anyone try and stop her from touching what seemed like a trap door? <laughs> Maybe yeah. this isn't a good idea. Yeah, I'm going to try and grab her by the wrist. <laughs> Roll for be, it. Be like, lady, don't do it. <laughs> uh, I got a 16. I got a 20. Well. <laughs> <laughs> You pull it, and uh, like a door, the, the bookcase just moves back. And you see that there's a staircase that goes down, but you're on what you think was the first floor of the house. Mm -hmm. oh. And Remember what I was saying about the Denver airport? Does anyone I'm... remember what she was saying about the Denver so airport? I really no. doubt there's that there's something a secret underneath. government base. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, Martian? secret Martians? Things, hidden under things. <laughs> oh, okay. My goodness, you people are so. You know, you should stop drinking too, sir. That's a form of mind control. They're, they're controlling your mind. I'm not gonna. It's to make me forget things. <laughs> that's what they want. Yeah, that's what I want as well. <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> we have the same goal. Such All right. So now you have the decision. You can go to the kitchen, which is very close. There are weapons there. Or go exploring. No, I do not think we should explore. No. I I agree. I think we should head to the kitchen. I have a plan. Can... Let's go to the kitchen, get weapons, then go down here. Uh, All right, let's we go want to find out what happened to, to Mr. the kitchen, get weapons, and then make a decision. Yes. In, in, an informed, <laughs> democratic decision, because you know the government in the United States is a democracy, so we will vote. You know I'm against the government, right? That's something. Anyway, I'll oh, pull dear. back, close the door, because it's very important not to leave evidence behind. So I'll close the door again. We know which book it is. All right. This bright one right here. Yes. Before, you, before you close the door, can, can we hear or see, we just see a staircase going mm -hmm. down. Do we hear anything? Uh, what just sounds like empty air, just uh, like that kind All of right. thing. Sure. What's, what's the name of the book? There. The name of the book? Oh. Yeah. Um, Alice in Wonderland. Flowers in, flowers in the Attic. Oh, God. <laughs> was written. You're right. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know if Iron Man was uh, that. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Going to Iron, Iron Man was By around. the way, I'm still Iron Man was definitely around. around. Yeah, you know what? Oh, Alice, through the, Alice through the looking glass. Okay. okay. Perfect. Sure. It's Alice through the looking glass. Come on, Perfect. Buckethead. Um, so you guys make your way into the kitchen. Right. And you start to smell food. And it's not, huh? it's not what you guys ate earlier, because clearly that was hours ago at this point. It's as if someone is currently cooking. Hmm. I'm going to run over to the stove and make sure everything's off. Well, you're not in the kitchen We're yet. Not there. You're oh, in the hallway. Sorry. Jane, did he have a private... Did he have a cook? Did he have somebody that wasn't you? Well, of course he did. He's a millionaire. He certainly wasn't cooking for himself, but... But Jane, you're noticing that the, the smell is uh, a dish that's familiar to you and would probably mostly be familiar S to you and Todd. It smells like chicken fricasse with dumplings. Very odd. Specific. Well, it was a favorite of Mr. Redford's. But if there's, there were six of us in the house, and Percy was screaming, and that room was full of blood, who's cooking? Wait, if it was a favorite of his, who, who would cook it for him? 
Would it be you or would he make it for himself? Well, I, I mean, I certainly made it for him in the past. As I said, I, I stayed here for a, a week or so. Oh, do have this? Yeah, once. that's a good question, Jane. Were you lovers? You are awfully familiar with this house. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, Jane, I'm gonna have you roll. Okay. Mm. Can I, can I also roll to see if I know that they're lovers? Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. Okay, so hold on. Twelve and, my, yeah, uh, roll, Mark. Yeah. Uh, that's a 19. Ooh. You were super aware. <laughs> okay. Jane, you were not aware that he was aware. Right, okay. Todd didn't tell him. Oh, no. But he was a detective. He didn't see anything, but he... He, he was a detective. <laughs> Well, is it cop? I, I, I former was a cop, cop. Okay. former cop that's right. now working security. Here. Right, right, yeah. Right. So he was. There was enough. He, he's clues. smart. He clued into it. Okay. So you got a twelve. Um, I will leave it up to you. Okay. Whether you confess. Oh, I confess. Truth. I'm really. Yes. So he was sleeping with the staff as well as his guests. Gosh, it's getting wilder and wilder. Well, I mean, I wasn't exactly staff per se, well, would you and yourself he out? had a picture of her in his wallet. <gasps> I saw her pick it up. Yeah. What? A couple of rooms back. She made the wallet. That means she was important. Uh, Todd, Todd had a lot of pictures us. of a lot of ladies. It's true. I was certainly aware of all of his other affairs. But how many of them stayed for a week? Hmm. Uh, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them didn't stay more than a couple hours, to be honest. <laughs> Teddy, as you're overhearing all of this, <laughs> all of this confession yeah. of yeah. Sex and depravity and such. You start to hear in the distance, Daddy. Mm. But you're the only one hearing it. Daddy. I'm going to slowly, Listen. while they're discussing, I'll slowly uh -huh. step back and head toward the sound. Okay. So you all are, are bunched together and you're all talking. Yes. <laughs> I'm a woman like, of status. I am allowed to enjoy some sexual indiscretions. Uh, so, Teddy, you start making your way towards a room. Okay. And the door's already open. You don't need to do anything. Okay. But Teddy okay. still sounds like it's fairly... <laughs> Wait, did Teddy just leave? He started to make his way. Uh, like, Teddy's leaving. Oh, he's boy. not that far. He's only like maybe like 20, 30 feet away. <clears throat> okay. Um, so he starts making his way towards this little room. You And so the door's ajar. Okay. You push the door open. Do you decide to go in or no? It's dark. It's pretty dark. It's dark. Still hearing, Daddy. Yeah, I, I, I have to find out about Todd, Mr. Redford. Do we notice that he's I need, gone? I need to. No. I need. Okay. I need. You're too great. deep in discussion. You know what? Actually, no. You don't here. roll for it. Roll for okay. it. Okay. Roll for we're, it. We're all talking about sex. <laughs> we're just like. Seventeen. You notice, <laughs> but you're so deep in defending yourself. <laughs> And you don't even, you really kind of don't need to defend yourself, but you're like, look, listen. You're aware he's gone, but you're also aware he's only like 20 feet away. He's not that far. Right. It's not like he fully disappeared. Right. Just be careful on your own over there, Teddy. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea for the record, but I'm staying right here. <laughs> I'm getting knives argue. out of drawers and putting them in my bag. We're not in the kitchen yet. Anyway. No, you're not. You're for goodness sake. You're, you're, one, you're <laughs> like, like, yeah, the five, pretty, like close. pretty close. Anyway. As I was saying, and what I had actually set out to do when I first part of my room, was to confront you, Mark. You've stayed the night in this house before as well. Have you ever encountered anything like this? No, I, I've never seen any. I've never seen a wolf man before. <laughs> uh, you saw it. Yeah, I saw a wolf man. I could, I could see the hairs on his. How big was it? The size of a man wolf. Not was, bigger, not smaller. Than a man wolf? No, he was exactly his size. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to update I'm my not files. Not entirely sure what a man wolf. Teddy, you have is. walked into the room at the time <laughs> during this whole discussion. <laughs> um, and you flick the light switch on. Okay. And inside this room is nothing but mannequins Ooh. and baby dolls. What? <laughs> Mistake! I told you. <laughs> I told you. Do you go deeper into the room? Do I, do any of them look like? Are, are they dressed up? Are they? Oh no, they're nude. They're okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we have to wait. I'm to naked mannequins. Yeah, I mean, if dolls. they're not moving, I, I'll, I'll I'll take a look around. Okay, I'll venture 
further into the room. So you venture a little bit further into the room. Yeah. Um, and as you do, you start to hear uh, rustle, not quite rustling, but it's almost like someone's moving the mannequins. Yeah. You start to hear them like moving and gyrating and such. And you start to look around. And walking out of the mannequins is a little teddy bear. <laughs> oh! That just goes walking up to you. Daddy? Daddy. I, 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 always, I always wanted a teddy bear from, from someone who loved me. Oh, my God. Oh God. I love you forever, Daddy. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a teddy bear. I, what, what harm could a teddy bear be, right? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, geez. So it starts oh, to walk towards you. Teddy okay. and his teddy. Pick me up, Daddy. <laughs> Pick me up. I mean, it's a teddy bear, right? Everybody loves teddy bears. Okay, I'll, I'll pick up the teddy bear. Okay. <laughs> As you pick up this teddy bear, and you hold it in your arms. What are you, what are you saying that you actually want to say to Todd? I, I, I wish I knew you, and I, I wish you were, I wish you were a good man. Nothing, nothing I've seen seems to indicate that, <laughs> but there must have been some good for you to have been with my mom. Out in California. Was that a reveal, or did we know that? No, you didn't know no, that. No, we didn't know. Oh, and boy. you still don't. You're in the hallway. <laughs> 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 the teddy bear. And, and, why, and why you never came for me? You squeeze the teddy bear closer as it goes, eat shit! <laughs> it bites oh. into your neck. Oh, no. Serrated shark teeth. <laughs> oh, shit. No. Roll. <laughs> uh, okay. 18. Ooh. 19. Oh! <laughs> Roll a d6 for damage. Okay. Uh, the dice were on, on four. You take four damage. Okay. So just blood starts just streaking down your neck. Um, you try I'm and like launch this teddy bear off. Try to throw it as hard as I can. Oh, you're like, you're like, fuck. Now, are you saying anything? Now, at this, are you going oh. out of the room? Or are you trying to get the attention of the Yeah, group? no, I'm, I'm screaming. I'm, I'm trying to run out the room, throw this thing back into the pile of mannequins, mm. kicking. Yeah, I'm making a lot of noise. Okay. At that point, the mannequins actually start making their way oh, towards shit. you. Oh, Jesus. No. And bringing you deeper no. into this oh, room. No. <laughs> help! Help! You're all, do you all hear this? Yeah. If you're choosing to ignore it and continue to argue about this. Oh, yes, we no, hear it. I'm, I'm going to hear it. I'm going to run to the room. Yeah. Uh, eighteen. Okay, nine. Uh, so you're you're picking them off. You're picking yeah. them off. Where are you shooting? Uh, I'm just gonna shoot straight for the head. For the heads. Okay, so you're you're picking them off. You're shooting them in the heads. Uh, they're not going down, but because you shot them in the heads, they now kind of can't see. So now they're kind of bumping and bopping into each other. All right. If if I'm gonna notice that headshots aren't taking them down, I'm gonna start trying to disable them. Okay. So I'm gonna go for the legs and the joints. Jane? I'm going to turn to Velma. Do you still have that lighter? Yes. All right. I would like to... You also have an Iron Man suit. I, yes. yes, and I have my Iron Man suit, which right. I have been carrying. Help, Iron Man. Help. Well, first of all, give me the lighter. Here you go. I'm going to light the uh, thing on... I'm going to light my, like, stick, stick on, on fire. fire. Your um, serrated door? Yes, my serrated door frame. I'm going to light it on fire and... Uh, throw it at a, a group of mannequins that's like not uh, directly in a place that is going to set Teddy on fire. Okay, great. Uh, roll. The hashtag Ghost of Grim the Barbarian appears to help teach everyone how to smash things better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um, oh, hold on to that one. Okay. Uh, that's a 15. 15? Oh, yeah. You just, you chuck it in there. Right. Mark is firing away. Uh, Thelma, what are you doing? I'm putting on my Iron Man suit. I think <laughs> now is the time. Okay, uh, I'm going to have you roll. Uh, if it's above 10, it's a positive. If it's below 10, it's cur cursed. Uh, uh, no! Oh, God. It's a seven. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, so the suit goes on. Iron Man's down. <laughs> choo, 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 choo. Uh, you hold your hands up. About ready to fire these mannequins. I'm ready. But you notice actually it's glowing from behind. To oh, shoot no. up in the face. <gasps> Whoa! Uh, so I'm gonna have you roll. Oh no. Sixteen. 
Uh, I got a two. So cool. it fires at your face, but you're able to Whoa. dodge. No. You move right away. And at that point now, you realize that it seems to be doing the opposite of what you think it should be doing. Yeah. Um, so every time we come back to you, we're going to have you roll to see whether it's cursed or uh, a positive. Uh, Amelia, what are you doing? I am staring at this Iron Man <laughs> suit she just put on. I'm like... Oh, my God. Uh, every time. Roll, roll to see what's in that photo. <laughs> That's an 11. Uh, it's just, it's just Thelma. <laughs> I don't see it. But you're Stop seeing... Stop wasting yes. time and help Teddy! You're seeing like... This is important. If we all Stop die tonight, no one It's a picture of me! We have to tell the truth to the world! Oh my goodness, I think I, right I, now I we need to... I throw the bear at her. But you're seeing, you're seeing, you're, you, but you do see light coming from her hands. So it's kind of a, like a Jesus-y photo kind of looking thing. <laughs> Maybe she's not even real. Oh my goodness. Uh, Teddy, what are you doing now? I'm. T is the bear? Am I still? Oh, the bear's still on. The bear. I am trying anything I can to get this bear There's off of me. Bear? Throw it into the fire. Okay, uh, roll for it. It's a teddy bear. It's a teddy bear. Oh my god! <laughs> That's eating his neck. Thirteen. Uh, sixteen. Oh, oh no! Teddy bear's still on there. Roll a d six. Evil teddy bear. Uh. Five. Oh. oh. That points of damage. Oh, jeez. And it's still latched on there. Mark. Yeah. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yell at Thelma, uh, do something, Buckethead. All right. <laughs> and Because uh, uh, I would recognize the Iron Man suit from comics. <laughs> All right, uh, Thelma, I'm going to have you roll a d20 again to see. Can I Can I assist her? Uh, I'll have her roll it, and then I'll see mm -hmm. where you can go on that. Twelve. All right. All right, it is a positive. Mark, uh, roll as well your d20. Uh, it's a five. Uh, I got a 20. So oh, you run oh. over to try and help her, and you just trip and get covered by two mannequins. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No, Mark, lovely. no. Uh, but Thelma, your Iron Man suit now works normally. So what do you want to do? I want to go, help. zoom, 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 and I'm going, mur, 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 and I'm taking out all the mannequins. All of them. Okay. All of them. <laughs> Let's roll for it. <laughs> Swing big, baby. Oh, I think one is a freaking question. It's a three. I got a one. Oh. Yes. So wow. I'll, I'll tell you this. I'll give it to you. You have taken out all the mannequins, but that teddy bear teddy is still, bear still latched teddy on there. Yeah. Help, anybody, help, all right. please. Uh, and so all the mannequins just, pff, the ones that were on Mark, every, they're, they are vaporized. It's like, there's no evidence they were right. even here. Oh, darn it. I'm going to oh. run into the room, grab that piece of door that was on fire, run over to the bear and set fire to him. The one that <laughs> well, set so far, Teddy on fire? I'm going to have to hold on the it roll. Away. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's going to let uh, go. Uh, roll for it. Oh, I don't like this die. <laughs> oh, I like this one less. That's not good. 18! Oh. Okay. Oh, you swiftly soldier. pick it up. And you put it against the bear. Mm -hmm. Teddy, I'm gonna have you roll to see, make sure the fire doesn't hurt you. If it's below ten, oh, it hurt. If it's above mm -hmm. ten, you're good. It got yeah. just the bear. Below ten. Oh. By a lot. What is two? It? Two. <gasps> roll a d6. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh poor Teddy. Why'd you go in the room, Teddy? No, oh, one. One. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. good. Hey, good. You, it singed off a little bit of your All hair. Right. Yeah, just only a little bit though, but you you uh you got the bear. Okay. You got the bear. So now it's running around going, ah! Ah! <laughs> shoot it, shoot it. Somebody shoot the bear. Uh, Jane, I'll leave it. You didn't get to go. I'll leave it to you. What do you want to do? I don't have a weapon anymore. Well, if you want to just kick the bear. I'm just will kick the bear and see what happens. I'm gonna try to just kick it across the room. Alright, roll for it. Okay. Um that's a seven. I got a three. Yes. <laughs> so you 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 punt that bear good. <laughs> you, you punt, the minute it hit the ceiling, it just <laughs> in like stuffing just like rains down. I never so. understood the appeal of stuffed bears. Seemed quite pointless. Did you know teddy bears are a conspiracy? They were invented when uh, Teddy Teddy Roosevelt, the president, oh was around. Oh my and, goodness! And actually, but not the everything on the planet <laughs> by is related <laughs> to some sort of it crazy is government though. conspiracy. I've, Do, I've I've been, been, because I've, you're not wearing a tinfoil hat, they're putting these questions in your head and making you doubt the truth. You know, at, at the beginning of the night, I'd agree with you, Jane. But there's been a lot of freaky stuff tonight. <laughs> All right. Uh, give me, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm clutching. I'm clutching my torn out neck. Does anybody know first aid? Can anyone help me? Uh, I'm gonna. Um, Why are bleeding on the ground? Uh, Mark, you 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 had some first aid experience uh, in Nam. Yeah, I'm gonna rip off a sleeve from my shirt and make a tourniquet for him. Okay, roll. Yeah. Or I'm just gonna rip my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Uh, Thirteen. 
Thirteen. Okay, yeah, you 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 rip off the sleeve, but it's been a little while since you made one, so the tying uh, it's a little sloppy, but it gets the job done. All right. Uh, it's it's saving off the bleeding. Okay. Now, Teddy, uh, can you thanks, explain thanks. logically why it was that you wandered into this room that was clearly full of murderous mannequins and a teddy bear that tried to rip your throat? I, I told I, you not to. I didn't know that until I got in the room. Then why did you keep going forward? What lured you here in the first place? We were on a perfectly good mission to try to get to the kitchen to defend ourselves. Look, hussy. Whoa. I've got my own reasons for being here. Jane. Oh, I'm gonna slap him. <laughs> uh, roll for it. Eight. You hit him in his burn. <laughs> you give me, and you know what? Roll a d6. Great. <laughs> for damage. Oh my god. That's a three. He she hurts you three. Okay. <laughs> oh no. You know there's a fine Daddy, line between you insolent yes. child. Uh. Look, kid, uh, I've been talking to women for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> you can't you can't just bring that out out of nowhere. There's a fine line between paranoia and caution, and you, sir, could do with being a little more paranoid. <laughs> also cautious. Yeah. You can deal yeah, with being both. He needs to more. be more than cautious. He needs to be paranoid about things, so he doesn't do silly things like that. Look, I've had enough with all this bullshit. I came here to find out about my dad, <gasps> and he was a total asshole from everything I'm seeing. There's nothing in this it's house like to leave me. the apple didn't fall far from the tree. Well, now I'm just going to try to survive and get the money from this place and do what I want to do with my life. Can I help you tighten that tourniquet a little bit more? It looks a bit loose. Yeah, go ahead, lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go over, put a pencil in his tourniquet, and tighten it. Uh, Mark, there was something that you remember uh, seeing Todd doing before he disappeared. Um, it, was an, it was involved a note. Uh, and I leave it up to you whether or not you want to reveal that to the group or not. Yeah. You know, I I, I worked for Todd. I, I paid a lot of women to be quiet. Uh, Do tell more. You know. Uh, She's a journalist. I'm yeah. just careful. I'm so flattered every time she calls me that. It's like I'm She's not a journalist. She's got a radio station. I'm an enthusiast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right? You know, it, it, with, when you're a rich guy, you got a lot of you got a lot of ends you got to tie up, and that was part of my job was tying up those ends. Did he really have women that believed he was in love with him, them? Yes, absolutely. Poor uh, girls. When you're that charismatic and you got that much money, you can pretty much make anyone believe whatever you want. Uh, one of the nights before I got one of the nights before I got let off of house staff, uh, uh, I I found Todd. He was drunk in his study. He was looking at a note and he was crying. Hmm. He was sobbing. That uh, seems very out of character. And he got furious with me. He kicked me out of the room. And uh, instead of being house security, and then I had to become a vent. I would have been with him when he was skiing. If it wasn't for the fact that he kicked me off. Hmm. How odd. Do you have any idea what the note said? Or who it was from? I have no idea. He was looking at it and he was crying and that's all I know. Teddy? When I found out who Todd was and I heard about some of the stories about him, I wrote him a letter to try to find out if this, any of the stories were true, if he even remembered my mother. Uh, I didn't get any response. So I assumed the letter either didn't get it to him or he didn't care. My goodness, I just now realized that, that Todd Redwood could be your father. I believe that Todd <laughs> is his father. Well, Amelia. Yeah. That's why he came here, was to yeah, try to. Todd Redford that, is that's, definitely that's, dead. That's, 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 that's just, like, that's that's just put that I'm in the record. Remember yes. that Apple didn't fall far from the tree comment earlier you made? <laughs> well, yes, well, that was when I was realizing. Okay. Right. <laughs> uh, so you said so he was crying? Yeah, he was weeping. Hmm. And then he was furious. And then he left. Yeah. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I. I wouldn't be surprised if there you had a bunch of step or siblings or half siblings all over the world. But, it does seem um, very possible. Teddy, can I ask you a question? How long ago did you write that letter? How old were you? This was. I mean, this was what just over. Just over a year ago, yeah, it was a year before ago. The, the trip. That's so strange. I would think that if he was, if he was trying to avoid paying child support to you, that would stop when you were eighteen. You're eighteen now. He's been gone for a year, so surely if he disappeared for that reason, he would be coming back about now. Child support was never an issue for Todd. Interesting. That is true. Mm -hmm. So you're taking all of this in as you guys mm -hmm. 
realize you gotta make you gotta make your way to the kitchen. Right. Yeah. At this point now, it's about three three thirty in the morning. Okay. Well, listen, I'm sure there's all kinds of other secrets that we can still unearth about Todd Redford and his mm -hmm. perhaps many illegitimate children, but I do highly suggest that we traverse to the kitchen and arm ourselves for. Whatever other apparitions we may encounter before the night's over. I agree. I uh, remember the food was, you were smelling cooking food when you were uh, right. near there before. Right. Maybe Percy's alive. <sighs> Wishful thinking. Yeah. So you guys make your way into the kitchen. You see a pot boiling. Okay. And it does look like someone probably did make food very recently, like more recently than dinner. Hmm. Uh, now, as the chef, you have a nose for these things. Yes. Seems that this was food that was prepared not long ago, certainly after we consumed our supper. Do I see any other, like, plates or anything, like, indicating that someone was eating in the kitchen? Uh, roll for it. Okay. Um, that's a 16. 16, okay, yeah, there's definitely some plates. Uh, it does also look like there's some uh, plates in the sink. Some of them are your guys' plates from right. earlier in the night. But there's definitely more than the six mm -hmm. that would have been uh, eaten off of mm -hmm. earlier that day. So there are a couple of plates, and you do notice the fridge door is open. Not right. all the way, but slightly ajar. You're right. the only one that notices this, though. Okay. Uh, I want to uh, investigate the refrigerator. Okay. Uh, you make your way to it, mm -hmm. uh, and as you open up, Flies Ugh. just come Ugh. pouring out as this rotten dead food sits in this fridge. Oh, it's like this food's been here untended to for years. Why wouldn't Percy have cleaned out this refrigerator? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna have uh, Mark using your. Uh, I'm gonna have you roll. Okay. That's a big seven. You, you notice that there might be something in the back of the fridge, uh, but you can't entirely make out what it is, even beyond the rotting food. Uh, it's your, it's up to you if you want, if you want to go reaching for it, or if you want to ask Jane to reach in there. Uh, uh, Janie, there's something back there, behind that food. Uh, maybe we could get something to poke at it. <laughs> right, hey, I have an idea. I'm gonna go through the drawers and find some kitchen tongs. Uh, roll. Seven. Uh, also a seven. Roll again. Oh. Lots of seven. Ten. Uh, seventeen. Oh, oh ballas. No. <laughs> They're haunted. Uh, haunted <laughs> kitchen tongs. Uh, you open it up, but there's just spoons. <laughs> Never mind, I found the spoons. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. Jane, up to you if you want to go. Suppose I have to do everything myself. I'm going to uh, try to reach in and find whatever it is he thinks is in there. Your bare arm is just touching all it's of gross, this. But you know what? I've, I've dealt with gross things before. Yeah. So it's you're a plastic. Great, it's a plastic. Jane. It's a, you're, not entirely, you're not entirely sure what it is. Okay. But it's plastic and there's a tie part. You can grab onto that tie part. I'll grab onto the tie part. As you pull it out. Oh, there's Thai food. <laughs> <laughs> As you pull it out. It's a severed head Aww. in a plastic bag, not of anyone you guys recognize. Oh. Jesus. Who is that? God. Wait. God, every time. As far as we know, Percy's the only one who's been in the house. Yeah. And that's not Percy. No, but that would explain why Percy had not cleaned out the refrigerator if he was using it to conceal the fact that there was a dead body hidden in this refrigerator. Maybe the blood in the other room is from this body. And it was a setup. Let's Insane. find out. I'm going to touch the head and see if it's warm or cold on like the. Well, it came out of the refrigerator, part. so I have yeah, it's going to be cold. It's, it's, cold. Ah. it's all cold, so it's been it's in there for like a while. A little while. Yeah, there's, even, suggest... there's even some like uh, frost on it as if okay. like. Are you guys suggesting Percy's gone native? He's, he's killing people here? I'm not I... suggesting anything, only. Bring up believe the possibility. Even in, in the seventies, that's offensive. And the worst, there's a there's a male, there's a man's head. Uh, is it? Time? Is this your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, I'm gonna have you roll for that. Amelia. Roll for daddy. Roll for daddy. Fifteen. Uh, I got an eighteen. So the uh, the bag at the bottom of the bag opens up. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 
Oh. That's all I got. And the second it hits the ground, wow. it just. Oh! <laughs> well, Tell I don't me, think sorry. We'll be identifying that without some advanced DNA testing <laughs> now. Maybe, maybe the T. That's usually how it's right. Oh goodness! Good Dental thing you have that photo. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> uh, you start to hear again. Oh! 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 Is that still? Is that Percy? I don't know. I thought it was Percy before. <laughs> we are done with Percy, y'all. Uh, I suggest we try and arm ourselves best we can in this uh, kitchen. Absolutely. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, I'm gonna have all five of you roll. Okay. Nine. Twenty. Oh. Seventeen. I think I got a six. <laughs> I got a two. So. <laughs> oh. Wait. I had a lot of plans for this kitchen. <laughs> I, yeah, sure. So six. Uh, so everyone above a twenty or above a ten. <laughs> uh, you got the knives. You got Can the I get weapons. something else? It's up to you. Hold on. It's up to you if you want to share those weapons. Mm -hmm. But you got like the knives. Mm -hmm. uh, the. Uh, the uh, the blender, the bottom of a blender, no, things of that nature. Damn it. Seems <laughs> like someone's gone in and rearranged the kitchen since I was last here. Oh, I found a toothpick. Yeah, hey, uh, everyone underneath got, everyone underneath the tent got spoons. It's okay. <laughs> I got my Iron Man suit. <laughs> yes. I feel ready. That still does work. Oh. I'll, uh, I gave Amelia one of my brass knuckles before. I'll exchange a knife for the other knuckle. Ooh, good idea, Mark. Oh, you're gonna swap back? Wonderful. Yeah. Can I have this the big one? Yeah, absolutely. You thank get a you. cleaver. So thank yeah. you so much. And and Jane, since you're a chef and you might know how to use it, I suggest you get a chef's torch and some sort of oil. Uh, I mean, I'll I'll also give Jane a knife as well. Right. Uh, oh, great. Uh, so you guys start to make your way back towards the library now. Okay. Uh, pretty, but nothing, nothing's happening now at this point. Right, you're still hearing that secret passageway in the library. Yeah, you're still hearing the, the occasional. One I knew was there. Yeah, you're still hearing the occasional screams, but that's it. Okay. At the moment, you make your way back into the library, okay. uh, and you make your way towards Alice. Alice through the looking glass. You pull the book. The door swings open again. At this point, now you're not just hearing the dead air. You are hearing the more echoey screams. Mm. I think I found the murder dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's not the only type of dungeon that's in this room, but uh, or in this house, but uh, absolutely, that seems what, what it sounds like. Sounds like there might be chains and whips in both of these dungeons. Yes, you are correct. Uh, so I'm gonna have you guys roll to decide the order in which you go. Oh boy. Fourteen. Eighteen. Six. Sixteen. Twenty. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna go. I nail my or lining <laughs> up. <laughs> I was in the army. I know how to get in a line. <laughs> So it's going to go, uh, in order, it's going to go uh, Mark, Thelma, uh, Teddy, Jane, and Amelia. Right. I will be in the back, flashing my flashlight backwards. Yes, okay. because as you see, right you see in, in this house, things can happen behind you. I have mm -hmm. my chef's knife at the ready. All right. Okay. I still got my heater pulled. I'm ready. I'm holding my flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> Just Iron Man yes. also is here. <laughs> Haunt, haunt so you start to make your way Hello, down. Sir. You start to make your way down. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is a spiral. The staircase right. spirals down. Yeah. It's all stone walls. As the screams grow louder and louder. You notice, though, there's a torch on the wall. Like a mortar and... We're like, talking British or American? Um, uh, like a, like a, la like a, a torch fire on top. <laughs> Great. You can, oh, American. Uno momento. Hashtag goes Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Great. Uh-oh. We'll find out when that comes in. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a torch. Do any of you decide to grab the torch? Yes. Yeah. You better light the way. You do. Yeah. Okay. I've got Roll a flashlight. Okay. Fire is useful. Ten. Yes. Uh-oh. Fifteen. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> so as you pull the torch out. Oh, no. A section of the stairway ground opens up. <gasps> oh no! And there is bubbling liquid. Ugh. That Amelia, you recognize to be acid. <laughs> that is definitely government standard edition acid. <laughs> <laughs> USDA select. Now, uh, the gap in the stairs, you have to do a bit of a jump. Okay. It'll be a little bit of a jump for everybody. It'd be in front, it opened up in front of everybody. Oh no. Uh, uh, Jane, why don't you put that torch back where you found it? <laughs> All right, I'll try that. I'm gonna try putting the torch back and see if that like resets the trap. Okay, roll for it. Oh no. Uh, 12. 
16. No! Oh. You made the gap a bit bigger. No! <laughs> Why would you do that? Well, I, listen, I, things worked out well with me and fire before. I just thought it would be useful. I'm used to working with fire. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, legitimate question. <laughs> Go for it. Can Velma fly us <laughs> over this acid? <laughs> I'm why? Not, why I'm, roll not for it. I'm not rolling for that. <laughs> if it's, if it's, where you at? Ten. Oh. Ten or higher. Ten or higher. Maybe if you lay your body across it. Right. Yeah. You know what? Just walk across. Right. Yes, like you can. Bridge. But we're we're gonna also because it's five individuals and five individual turns. We don't have to roll. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. See how well it goes. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. You can try and jump it. Okay. Mm -hmm. My, uh, but this is the order, everyone. So Mark, you're first. All right. I'm gonna try and jump this baby. Uh, 18. Oh yeah, you clear it. It's oh, beautiful. God. Good job, Mark. You are. It's it's, 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 it's beautiful. It's, it's almost graceful. <laughs> Amelia takes a photo of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice. Uh, Thelma. Motion blur. Look. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I need to roll. Um. Or am I carrying people over if they well, want to Well, he, he jumped, so you're second in the room. Oh, so you, no. I leave it up to you if you want to wait for everybody, or because you're second, so you can selfishly be like, bye. Go <laughs> <laughs> to the other side. Well, it is almost time. Mm -hmm. yes. And so what I will do is I will offer my services to the rest of the group. If they want me to try and fly them over, I will. OK. Uh, so I'll stay behind. Hmm. So, because your suit is powerful, uh, but if everyone does this, you all have to go at once. Okay. So, so you're holding three people. So it's up to you. So, right. uh, Amelia, do you want to? No. Oh, yeah, I want to. <laughs> Teddy? I mean, my track and field experience leads me that I think I can jump it, but I am pretty wounded. So, it's also wow. uphill. That's true. I don't know. All right, so Teddy and Jane, uh, I'm going to have you two roll. Okay. 18. Nine. Eighteen and nine. Okay. So, <clears throat> Thelma, you grab both of them. And you are Iron Man suiting them. <laughs> and you have Jane in one hand. <laughs> and you get her to the other side. <laughs> oh, no problem. Nailed it. Oh, no. But because of his injuries, You're welcome, Teddy Thank is, you. just, <laughs> is, is, is kicking and kicking. Teddy, be <laughs> cool. Thelma, I'm, I'm going to have you roll. I'm trying. Please. I got an 11. You got an 11. You are just barely getting Teddy over as he kicks and kicks Teddy roll. Oh no. <laughs> it's cocked. It's, roll again, roll again. It's definitely not on. 19. Whoa. 19. You are able to make it over. Oh. Thelma, I'm gonna have you roll one more time. Oh no, oh, no. Oh, boy. oh boy. As I teeter on the edge. 11. <laughs> 11. The power in the boots start to do, 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 oh, do, no. go out. Oh, so, oh no. You reach out to Teddy, Teddy and Jane. Teddy, Jane, roll. Okay. Two. 17. <laughs> Jane, you miss her. Oh, <laughs> you no. miss Thelma's one hand. With her. Oh. Teddy, you do grab onto the other hand. Yes. Thelma, run one, roll one more time. Oh, my Teddy, God. I have to tell you something. As I am here in your clutches and I don't have much time. Yes. We both have brown hair. I don't have a family either. There's what? a 10-year age difference. <laughs> I'm your sister! Oh, oh, no. No. Ah, oh, no. Roll it again, roll it again. Okay. 19! Yeah. With that, the power of love. this beautifully dramatic moment, <laughs> Teddy goes, I do want the money. No. And lets you go. <laughs> As you fall into no. the acid. And the concrete pillars close Whoa. on top of Thelma, who now has to leave the game. Oh. <sighs> well, team, good luck. Oh. Except for you. <laughs> hey, there, there can only be one. I'm, I'm horrified. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. So, Amelia, you just saw someone drop into an acid bath. Yeah, and, and I the take a picture of Teddy. Of them. Oh. I take a picture of Teddy immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Put him up on it. You just killed Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> this 18 year old's a murderer. Seriously. I, tr I tried to pull her back. I saw you let go. Ghost, Ghost. Jane, Ghost. Jane reached out and then just went, oh. 
No, I, mean, I tried to save her. I, you I pushed know. me out like, of the way. It looked like you didn't even try to reach for her. I did reach for her. I mean, different, per different perceptions of what can happened. I, I don't know. Can I roll to see if I heard him say, but I do want the money? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Roll for that. Can I roll for that too? Yeah. Everyone roll for that except for Teddy. Uh, I got a 13. 12. 11. You, you heard it. <laughs> You heard it. What wow. the, you're all no, here for. I clearly heard you say to her in that moment that you always wanted a sister, but you wanted the money. You did push me out of the way to stop me from saving her. You're all here for the money too. Let's let's be honest. That is not true. I'm here to uncover the truth, and the truth is, sir, so you're a murderer. So you'll pass your portion over to me if we if we make it, because I was I'm Todd's son. You're a murderer. You're going away to jail. You're not inheriting anything. No I leave it up to. Mark and Jane, if they want to reveal why why they're interested, what they would do if they won. Well, I want the money, of course. After all, it's difficult making the transition to be on television in America. But I had to. You see, it's just not enough money in the BBC. I, I wanted to be more than just a you know a, a local hometown girl chef and. It's very difficult out here. I want to build a new studio and 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 be able to pay a better staff, get better cameras, and 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 run my own enterprise instead of being at the beck and call of someone else. I absolutely want this money. So so Todd didn't take care of you either. Of course not. Why would he? I'm very good at making my own way. Thank you very much. But I certainly wouldn't have minded a little bit of assistance. Hmm. Mark. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna use the money to get a good life insurance policy and uh i'm gonna kill myself so my uh wife and daughter have a have a good life you know you can that's that's a felony yes you you could just yeah i know it's, i know it's you a just give felony. the money to to them and but and the policy can accrue it's it's more money they'll get more money in the end how are you going to stage your death so that it looks like a suicide? So it doesn't look and, like a suicide. Why? I know. Like I'm gonna have you roll. I'm gonna have you roll whether you reveal <laughs> how you're gonna kill yourself or not. Uh, I roll a twenty. Ooh. You know what? I'll leave it up to you if you want to or not. If you want to keep that. Listen, uh, uh, Amelia, you, you've been living in a very nice life. I know. Well, I know. Being abducted on a regular basis is not a nice life, sir. Uh, I know, I know, certain sort of person that you can pay a certain amount of money, and they'll make it look like you you didn't kill yourself. Well, if you have outside help, that's far more likely that you will succeed in your insurance policy fraud. Fraud. But you have a family. Why? Why are you leaving them? My family doesn't love me. I don't love me. If you you go through the things and you do the things I've done. You don't you don't deserve to see you know punch your own ticket. Mark, I have to say, you've saved us several times tonight. You are worthy. You are valid. You are needed. You are necessary. I don't want you ever thinking thoughts like that again. Do you hear me? I appreciate it, but uh, that's that's not going to make up for what I've done. The this screams is work. continue down the hallway. Also, Shut. Percy's dying. He's <laughs> 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 already dead. <clears throat> right. Well. Are, are we going to let this well, murder yeah. just... <laughs> you, you stay in front of me, sir. I want you where I can see you. I'm going to have you roll, Same. Teddy. <laughs> That's a three. You got to get in front. You're in front. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're, you're in enough. front. You're making your way right down there. Okay. Um, as the screams grow louder and louder, you start to notice that this kind of is a dungeon. That there mm -hmm. are like bars and uh, tables, weaponry, and things of that nature. <laughs> Someone had used this room for used this basement like area for terrible things, and mm -hmm. recently. If there's a oh. bar, I'll go fill up my flask. <laughs> it's not that kind of bar. <laughs> yeah. uh, what sort of weapons are there? There are, uh, there's um, cat of nine tails. Uh, okay. There yep. are uh, little, lots of stabbing. Lots of weapons mostly for stabbing or disemboweling. Mm. Great. Uh, things of that nature. And whips with uh, dangerous instruments on the end of them. Excellent. I want to take some of the like stabby weapons because that's the kind of weaponry okay. I, I would be most capable of handling. Great. Uh, anybody else want to take anything? Yeah, I'm going to see if there's like a meat hook or something like that. Chains and uh, little hooks for latching through loops and chains. Okay, great. Um, 
Yeah. What'd you get? Eleven. Yeah, yeah. There's some. Wonderful. Not okay. a bunch. Not a, a bunch. Rope, grab a chain. But yeah, one or two. Right. Yeah. Put I'll, them in my bag. I'll, I'll take some something with a little bit of range on it, like a whip. That sounds. Uh, Nineteen. Uh, all the weapons are taken. So. <laughs> well, right. I still have my trusty. <laughs> Carrying knife. knife from yeah. the kitchen. Sure. <laughs> well, <laughs> so I, I assume sure. I have like some sort of like sickle or something, or do I have like a sword? Um, it's it's yeah, it's a sick, uh, sickle like okay uh, Great. device. So you start to make your way through, and there's a big wooden door. Mm. As you push it open, mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna make you. Do, what do you all? What do you see? What do you want to be seeing, Teddy? What do you see? I just want a, a well lit room with nothing in it. <laughs> that's that's what that's what I'm in my soul. That's what I want to see. Mark. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think I'd like to to see a room that looks safe, and maybe there's a there's a bar there. Okay, uh, Jane. I want to see uh, also a a well lit, comfortable room, also with a bar that's got that's. Well stocked, where we can just have a cocktail and wait out the rest of this night. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia, I want to find Mr. Redford's secret office that contains all of his paperwork and pictures and evidence of his wrongings and misdoings and weird events, and all of his secret stuff that he kept secret from the well, <clears throat> possibly even containing where his current location is. Okay, we're all gonna roll for it. Four. Oh, for eleven. Uh, one. Oh, wow. <laughs> Two. We all rolled horribly. I got a 19. Oh, no. Oh. So you open the door. Oh, God. And there stands Percy. Hey. Percy. All Percy. but nude. Ooh. If not mm -hmm. for a leather strap <gasps> over the more private areas. Oh. Oh. And strapped to the chair, bloody, beaten, chest, just chest uh, skin torn apart. <gasps> Is Todd. Oh God! The one who's been screaming this whole time. It was him. Jesus, tap dance, dancing Christ. Percy! Oh God! You were the one that killed the man whose head we found in the refrigerator. Oh, this Detective Peterson. Yes, he was getting very, very close to discovering the truth, to discovering everything. Ruining this for me. Wait, so when you told us that we needed to survive the night in this house, you really wanted us to, to provide a distraction so you could finish doing whatever it is that you're doing to Todd. The point was to finish this. The point was that all of you had connections that could have ruined this. The conspiracy theorist who never stops digging. I'm always right, I'm always the right. The detective, the forgotten children, and the sleeping mate. Constance, Constance, Constance. You know what I've had to do for this man, this fucking man? The things I've had to get rid of to hide, the secrets I've had to keep? And he was going to leave me nothing. Mm. I read the living will. Nothing it was going to go to two children no one even heard of. It was going to go to, to the, the security. It was good. to the cook and you you would probably find it all so yes yes I've been hiding Mr. Redford and I've been making him pay for what he's done to me but Mark what? Mark shoot him <laughs> yeah okay yeah I, I am also thinking that as well <laughs> roll for it <laughs> I too yes was also pondering uh twelve Fourteen. Oh! Wow. You pull out the gun, you shoot. It mildly nicks our villain, but it hits Todd oh. Redford in the stomach. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my bad, my bad. What are you doing? Todd, Todd, can you understand us? Oh, his mouth is gagged. He's got a bloody nose and all this other stuff. Oh. Uh, not Father. if you're conscious. Not if you're conscious. Oh, right. He's he's obviously conscious. <laughs> <laughs> Father did if care about aware. me. 
He did care about me after all. I'm gonna ta tackle Percy to the ground. All right, roll for it. 11. Six. Ooh. So you're able to tackle Percy. What do you do once you get him on the ground? Gonna uh, try to hold him down. Hopefully some help might come to my <laughs> aid. Uh, just, yeah, try to immobilize him. Uh, okay, roll for it. All right. Mm, seven. Eleven. Oh. So you you get him to the ground and okay. he headbutts you right uh. in the uh, Roll for damage. Okay. Oh, God. Three. Three? Okay. Uh, Jane, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to... It, so it, is Todd like chained up or is he just tied up? What, what's the he's, situation? He's in a chair and okay. his legs and hands are bound and his mouth is gagged. Okay. And, and he's shot in the stomach. Right, and he's shot in the stomach. He's shot in the stomach. Uh, I want to go and... Uh, he's not tied to the chair because part of Percy's sick game was to see him try and get away. Sure, so. sure. I, I want to go um, remove his, <laughs> his gag so he can like contribute to this conversation. Okay, roll for it. <laughs> In case there's some important Ask him information how his day is going. <laughs> that he needs to share. Maybe his year. Uh, four. Four. Five. Damn! Oh my gosh! <laughs> you further get. So you're grabbing onto the gag, but there's just so much blood. It's your very, you're just your fingers are just getting wet. Like nothing's coming undone. Oh. It's just it's gross. Uh, Amelia. I'm I'm running over to Teddy. I'm going in my bag. I'm grabbing the chain and I'm going to smack Percy on the head with it and then help Teddy tie him up. Roll for it. Fifteen. Fifteen. Two. Woo! Okay. Uh, describe it for me. All right. So I'm running over to to Teddy as I'm going in my bag. I pull out the chain I just grabbed in the dungeon next door. I get about a foot and a half length on it and I use that and I thwack that right over Percy's head to uh, disorient him Okay. and then I'm going to Teddy, Teddy help me tie him up, chain him up, chain yep. him up. And that's a six damage on Percy. Ooh. Nice. <clears throat> uh, so he's not doing well. Mark. Uh, yeah, uh, if I see that they're they're taking care of Percy I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go help Jane and uh, <laughs> I just shot a guy so I feel pretty bad about it. <laughs> I'm gonna Flashback. go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go help Todd out. I'm gonna also try and ungag him, and I'm uh, I'm gonna try and stop the bleeding on his <laughs> bullet wound. Okay, roll for it. Yeah. Thank <laughs> God. Uh, twenty. Woo! All right. Uh, yeah. You get up there and you're describe. So describe it. Like, what do you? So you run up there. I, I run up there. I take my jacket and I I press it against his bu bullet wound, and then with the other hand, I'm just gonna rip the gag off his mouth. Great. Oh god, you shot me, you son of a bitch! Yeah, man. I know I shot you, god damn it! <laughs> you supposed to be my help! I was Why aiming for Percy! Him? Why did you god, shoot god. him? I was aiming for Percy, you saw me hit his shoulder! Oh god! Hey, Todd, I've, you've been shot before, this is the worst bit, bit you've been in, okay? Oh god, I like, yeah, know! Uh, so Teddy, you, you now, Percy's off you, Percy got okay. hit off you, what are you doing? Uh, does, does it look like he's under, he's under control? Percy or Todd? Yeah, Percy. Or is uh, he still fighting back? We oh, he, he's like he's chain. disorientated, but he's like now he's trying. He's he sees the numbers okay. might be against him, so he's trying to make his way towards the door. Okay, mm -hmm. no, I'm I'm going I'm going after Percy. He's with got the, chains with the, around with the knife. Okay, We're just around this bit, I think. Roll for it. Yep. Fourteen. Five. Uh, so mm. what do you do? I'm gonna stab him. You're stab him. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Uh... Daddy did love me. Uh, <laughs> screw this guy. Scream that. <laughs> Daddy loved me. <laughs> Uh, another six damage. Uh. <laughs> oh, my bum! <laughs> it's just oh, right in the bum. Uh, Jane? Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm with them, right? Uh, so I want to uh, untie... Uh, I want to try to, like, untie uh, Todd. Okay. And set Go him for it. free. Oh, God. Seven. <laughs> Four. Oh yeah! So you are you're Most able to you're able to get a good like, Oh god! Oh god! I got shot in the stomach. How long has he been keeping you down here for? A year. That's how long I've been gone. Uh, Jade, you Ooh. smell wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. You smell awful. But... I haven't showered in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Amelia, what do you want to do? Um, Percy's legging it right. He's got his chains around his top, so I'm going. Well, he's to... got stabbed now too in the back. Oh, wonderful. So I'm going to go back in my bag, get the ropes, <laughs> jump on his legs, and tie his legs up too, so he falls to the floor and is immobilized. Okay, roll for it. Fifteen. Sixteen. No. Oh! Yeah. 
so you're able to kind of get some of the ropes around him. It, 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 it makes it a little harder for him to get away, uh, but you didn't quite tie up. Somebody help me secure this witness! Right. Mark. This this felon! I have the ropes that uh, I took off of Todd, so I'm gonna yes. I'm gonna try and go assist with the with the hog tying. Okay, great. I'll have you go there. Uh, Mark, what are you gonna do? Uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna try and knock him out. So I'm gonna get my brass knucks yeah. out. I'm just gonna put the weight of my body in the in his back and then hit him in the back of the head. Ooh. Okay, roll for it. Yeah. Uh, fifteen. Uh, six. So yeah, you you uh, you brass knuck him real good. <clears throat> I'm just trying to knock him out with a damage of four. Yeah. Um, so that would put him. Uh, down to he's right, still a little bit above ten, so he's not quite knocked out, yeah. but he's just like, uh, he's, uh, uh, you sick son of a bitch, you killed Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, uh, <laughs> Teddy. What do you what do you do? Uh, so he's occupied. I'm gonna run over to to my dad. I'm okay. Just try to talk to him. See if I can. <laughs> you did care for me after all. You you didn't respond to my letter. I wrote you that letter. I got kidnapped, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, were you gonna come find me? Were you? <laughs> I left you all my money in my will. I, I, I love you, Dad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my okay. God. Uh, Jane, so you're running over with the ropes. Right. Uh, I'm gonna have you roll for okay. it. Okay. Mm, Ten. Uh, Nineteen. Ah, oh, damn it! You trip. <laughs> right oh! And uh, well, uh, Dad, I gotta go help with this situation. Uh, <laughs> roll, roll your d6 because you you hurt your knees. Okay. <laughs> One. <laughs> yeah, you just got a little sca scratch. Ah. You're like, ah. Because <laughs> this floor is so slick with blood and who knows what else. Sure. Blood with, uh, with Percy, so um, I'm going to go in my backpack, grab out that stake. I'm going to flip him onto his back. He's like tied around the top and the bottom. I'm going to sit my body on his chest and hold the stake against his throat like this. Oh, so he's, so All right. he's really trapped. Roll for it. It's a 19. Three. <laughs> Daddy taught me well. So you're Always yeah, like... retain the witness alive for questioning. Um, Mark. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Percy and be like, you sick son of a bitch. You tell me why that's, there was a werewolf. What what the what the fuck is going on? Roll there were it. there were freaky twins. Uh -huh. That's a good question. I and, don't forget about the mirror in my room. The weird that mirror. Tried the to, teddy bear. And the teddy yeah. bear. <laughs> I rolled a six. <laughs> uh, Percy's like too unconscious at this point. He's like, uh, 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 uh. I'm just gonna start slapping him on, yeah. on the face. Yeah. You tell me, what? Why were there weird twins? <laughs> uh, teddy, uh, I'm gonna help out my dad. Start to. Get him out of there. All right, roll for it. Seven. Six. Woo! Ooh. So you pick Good him up. You can get him out of there. He's like, oh, God, you look like your mother. How are you? Do, do you remember my mother? Oh, yeah, I have a photo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't need to see it. Uh -huh. yeah, okay. Uh -huh. So you start to lead him out? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, Jane. Uh, I want to, um, okay, so we're, we're retaining Percy. Yes. Uh, I, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with, with, uh, Todd and, uh, and, and Teddy. I'm just gonna try to, like, Great. help I'm, him. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you just do that. Okay. Uh, Jay, uh, uh, Amelia. Um, Mark. Can we gag him and will you throw him over your shoulder? We've got to take him to the police station. Yeah, absolutely. I, I recommend that we do secure these chains on his legs. I've got and these hooks arms. in my bag for just that purpose. Yeah, Let me hook them through those loops. Good. Can't get out of those chains. Let's uh let's do that. And then yeah, I'll 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 put him in a fireman carry. Perfect. And uh don't let him kick you in the face. Yeah. He's a little feisty. And okay, uh, I'm gonna have both you and you and Mark both roll. Amelia and Mark. Uh, 20! Also a 20. Oh! It's no problem. He goes yeah. over the shoulder. You guys start walking out of the room. Mm -hmm. He's ba he's barely conscious of conscious Before at all. Before I leave the room, I'm going to turn around one more time. Beauty. 
So as you start to make your way up the spiral staircase, the acid bath area has been closed off. Right. You get into the library, holding Percy over his shoulder. Todd. Right. Hurt. Todd looks at all of you and goes, how did you guys deal with the ghosts? Wait, so you knew there were ghosts in this house? That's what I'm... <laughs> Clark comes back as a hashtag ghost to take revenge on Deadly. <laughs> Uh, was, that didn't sound well, good. Are we getting a zombie oh. Iron Man right now? Uh -oh. oh, so hold on. Okay. So uh, Todd goes, yeah, that's why I bought the house. It was haunted. I was trying to find the mystery. Uh, Todd, I have so many questions for you. Wait. And then walking out from the library is Beetlejuice. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, babe. This house is really haunted. <laughs> oh, All the ghosts are real. And then come floating up from the floor is the dead Velma in her Iron Man outfit going, there can only be one winner as all the lights in the room go out. Oh, oh shit! All four of you roll. Oh, oh no. 10. 10. Come on, Daddy. Help me. 15. I'll take it. 11. <laughs> we cut outside to the house. It's the morning. Police cars are coming up the driveway. The front doors open, and out comes Teddy alone. Oh, God. <laughs> Trenched in blood, shaking. As the police come running up, what happened to you, son? What happened in there? Percy, the butler, he killed them all. Who? P Percy, the, the, the manservant? <gasps> Percy's died. I, I, I'm Teddy. I, I'm, I'm Todd Redford's son from out in California. We're gonna have to take you down, son. What? No, I'll take you downtown it, and ask you a lot of questions. No, that, that's what happened. You can. As Teddy gets put into the back of a police car, <clears throat> the ghosts of Velma, Jane, <laughs> Amelia, and Mark look on from the upper windows, along with Percy and Todd. Percy looks at all of you and goes. I think we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> All of a sudden, the hashtag ghost of a freakish bird-like pear-shaped creature with big beady eyes appears. <laughs> Percy looks over <laughs> at his porg friend and goes, isn't that right? And the porg goes. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings us to the end <laughs> of the first blood-curdling tales of terror. Thank you so much for watching today, everybody. <clears throat> we hope you've enjoyed this tale, and I've certainly enjoyed the additions you've brought into it. Please make sure to give it up to the rest of our cast. Miss Emma Fife, Scott Rudin, Jesse Klein, Kate Elliott. And the pictures, the police will find them. <laughs> and Clark Wolf, who had to leave early and died a <laughs> wonderful death. <laughs> make sure to go check out her podcast that launched this week. Everyone, Make sure to stick around and come back next week with a new cast of characters and more blood-curdling tales to turn your blood cold and to curdle it. <laughs> <laughs> Thus is the title. Here at Hyper RPG, please make sure to go subscribe if you're on Twitch. If you're on YouTube, go subscribe as well. And stick around, because we got Honesty Hour coming up, everybody. And then after that, a new version of The Gauntlet. So there's going to be more D20s, and there's going to be more death. <laughs> I've been your host, and we'll see you all very soon. Don't forget to wear your tinfoil hats. <laughs>